game as well, especially with the slime system, yeah. that, that Roman cancel for you Guilty Gear players-esque system <laughs> that's so expressive and adds a lot of decision-making where there's not necessarily always a right choice. Oh, my goodness. Just <laughs> like that, you're going in a flash. I time might be gone for many years, but, you know, we got stuck signing in a couple of, you well, know, minutes. When they said when the world needed a moment, he vanished, this is this is why he vanished. Just that like stock that was gone. Such an explosive style already, Lentini. That's kind of the, the, the nature of this set. That's how yeah. the matchup goes, apparently. The Ditto can go in a flash, and we've seen it right now. Uh, Pixie uh, in a bit of a, a trouble right now. I love the little giggles that Aang does as well. That's got to be so infuriating when you're in bracket, you get hit by somebody who just laughs at you. He's having a great time, man. He's just flipping around, putting out all the elements in the world, Ooh. doing his thing. Ooh, that was close. Good high recovery there, but that up B, that late hitbox is so threatening. You can also slime cancel that just to add insult to injury. I've seen some pretty cool combos off of it. Okay, I like the up strong there. Then you kill though, but yeah, good options kind of anti here as well. Okay, slime, the edge counter, as I say, uh, does get a little bit of slime charge in the back just to see how long they can kind of like wither around that ledge <laughs> yeah. before they get picked apart. Oh, oh yes. This is such a weird, like, neutral spacing game, right? This is that thing you see on Twitter where people are like, neutral's not real. <laughs> <laughs> You're just, like, air dashing around. If neutral's a conversation, right? I feel like they're both on mute at the moment. He's to make yeah. some sort of statement. Uh, and at the moment, you know, Pixie uh, was, you know, bringing it back and then the meeting hop says, nope, I'm still going to my lead now. I'm having a full stop lead at the moment. Yeah, that full stock, it goes a long way in a touch of death matchup like this, right? Yeah. You have to be so careful. Every single opening is an opportunity. There's your up air strong, not able to get much off of it. But again, following up anyway, it doesn't matter if you can get the up air to reset the combo. I like the stall uh, from, to make sure, from the team, should I say, to make sure you know where they want to be, where they want to land, and you know, keeping their options open. Hockey has to get used to him. Oh, nearly taking him off the top, managed to survive, and Hockey uh, still maintaining his lead. It's fun to see how good both of these players are at punishing each other's up specials. Yeah. Because that's something that a lot of non-Ang players I've noticed today have been really struggling to do anything against when they land. But the Ang players, they know their hitboxes, they know their end lag. So every single time there's a threat, like he had to ledge cancel that to stay alive. Uh-oh. Okay. Trying to do something. Yeah, there's the Tita. I love that mechanic in this game, by the way. Yeah, so do I. Probably should have been the ledge for too long. Shield on the ledge is way too strong in a lot of platform fighters. Okay, oh, goes by the with the double up strong. Oh man, what a wash oh. for a different reason. Hockey. <laughs> uh, was that three stock? Yeah, that was a three stock. Damn. Wow. And yeah. again, these statements, these early set, uh, these early games of the set, really tell the tale. And like you said, best of three now. You gotta adapt. Look, he may be from the U.S., but my man's name's Hockey. He's in Canada. He's got that power up going on right now. Oh my goodness. That was sick. No, for sure, yeah. Hockey definitely uh, threw that one out of the park. But uh, again, it's on Gangsteria. It's trying to see what he can do next. And then get a little bit of stage change now. See if he can get uh, it going. No platforms available right now. Because it's only flat ground. So for landing, is going to be that little bit harder. That's a long stage, yeah. too. It's easy to look at this and go, oh, it's just like FD, right? But it's it's so long. You have so much room to work with. Like, a dash back doesn't automatically corner you. Mm -hmm. Right there. You're gonna see all of the ice with this little spot right there. Yeah, we might see more of those approaching ice needles mm -hmm. in this because you have a lot less of that platform to work with, obviously, like you said. So you're looking for ways to mix up the throw hitboxes that allow you to safely get in. Yep, there you go. No conversion. A lot of space and stuff kind of push them away. Ooh. <laughs> we are. They are so non-committal, but you can understand why, because as soon as you get the commit, boom, you're dead. One up throw just like that, and now Pixie in the lead. And I love, I'm love, i loving the upbeat school from both of these guys, kind of make sure they can kind of be deceptive with their recovery, the wind ball on the way down, to make sure, you know, if, if I come down, you still got a hitbox to work with. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of hitboxes, there goes another one, evening it up, not letting things get too out of hand this time is Pixie, and getting that early lead on the second stock, okay. That's what we like to see, the adaptation you were talking about. Exactly. That opening gambit is going to help with these, these earlier stops to kind of make sure, you know, if they can keep the lead towards the late half of the game. Then another up throw into the up strong, of course. Ooh. Drag down up airs as well. That's something that I've only seen Aang use against Aang in this ma this bracket. I don't know why. Usually the other characters, they're just going full on, send them to space. Maybe it's just a matter of it's easy for Aang to land. So you'd rather get the juggle. Like that's with punishing that, you know, these kicks out of the way. 
None of these fairs, these light fairs are really working, okay? Ooh, and just like that! Yeah. Round and Eshkom just take the kill. Windball gonna get him away, and there's the up airs coming out. The light ones. This is where it starts to get away from you. Pixie needs to find the kill soon. We saw what happened last game when you got into this situation. If you can get yourself to force your will on hockey, because right now, hockey's just playing to that advantage, knows you have to approach eventually. Yeah, it's the fact that Pixie actually had a decent lead, and now it's kind of been snatched away, and you know, a little bit of a stop deficit right now until uh, just a percent now. So that's one combo, right? Just okay, here combo. we get started. Right. Oh no, drops it. I think he meant to full hop, accidentally short hopping there instead. Ooh, that was nice. Another up strong into the aerial up strong. Okay, the slime cancel. Just want something. Look, every time I see that super meter full, I'm like, there's a chance. Just well, let, I, it rip. let me see a super in bracket. We actually saw one from Cake Assault round one. Pulled out a super. Ooh. Like that. Very deceptive with the wind ball action. Right, and it's, it's that spacing, right? As soon as your opponent approaches, they get clipped by it. Because yep. you don't want to overextend and be the one who gets clipped. Yeah, try to throw out these uh, ground death strongs a lot of the time. You can convert into it from so many things, mm -hmm. especially like you're going to see the needle conversions indefinitely throughout the, the Ang game plan. As soon as you think you <laughs> find it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, as soon as you think you've finally gotten around those air juggles and those offstage edge guards, he just hits you with the needle F smash. Trying to get some sort of needle conversion into the air, which just can't find it. Pixie is looking for something, but just not at the moment get any type of graph, and now it's you go, drag turn. Down. Not able to get anything off the drag down, though. Try again. No, not quite. Conversion. Another up throw. It's not enough. Does not go for the up B. Too much percent. Yeah, it's risky because you can go for the, the hard read there. Actually using the defensive burst, you don't see that super often, but that was a great opportunity to use it and evening up the stocks because of it. Okay, kind of forcing him to kind of go off stage and kind of float his way back. Just couldn't find it, but damn, Did big you hear that? off from hockey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I heard that. Wow. Yeah, hockey, uh, a very emotive player. Moving on on winner's side. Good. I wonder... Are we even going to see Revilo even use that bubble? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, wow. Modern immediately spawned as well. Interesting. Okay, the jab canceled into the, uh, the F tilt. We can't find it. And there it is, the up throw. Let's see what uh, Revilo can get right now. And we're immediately seeing the weakness of Jimmy. The defense, not quite as good. That up B, very exploitable. But we got Goddard. Another good dog. Yeah, Goddard just sitting in the back waiting for his uh, just come next command. Sends out the rocket. Doesn't even charge it for the animation, uh, for the direction change, just goes for it straight away. Yeah, Rev just going low, and because of that platform placement, Senpak wasn't able to do anything with it, but it doesn't matter because you got that first stock anyway. Yup, B just jetting him all the way to the top, and of course, Jimmy can recover from anywhere when he can get there in the, in the first place. But also, all these up airs comboing, and ooh! ooh oh! The slime cancel, gets the forward oh. air, yo! This Jimmy is cooking! Let's this see. is what we were talking about, right? As soon as he gets you off stage, it is over. Oh my goodness, I think Swag might need a Messiah after how that went. Okay, Spongebob getting a little bit angry right now. There's the down strong. Hit him with a leaf blow. Ah. <laughs> now they're up there. This is where kind of Spongebob seems to shine. Okay, I like the down strong into reset. I'm looking for another grab, couldn't find it in there. Revelo, maybe get a bit too antsy. Yeah, I respect that when you're in that situation because you're down a stock. You need to start pulling out the big guns doing something to get yourself back into this game, which means higher risk posture. Okay, and again, he talks about poor Jimmy's out of shield options. I think that's the best, so he's getting kind of stuck in lag, and you can see Revelo's doing a good job of punishing it. The spawns off frame. Right, he's gonna hit you with a toaster, though. I hope you want that toast well done. Yeah, watch out Because my man is on fire right now. Oh, run up grab. I'm so impressed with how Rev is zone breaking. Yeah. Uh, down to it as, as we active for a very long time, by the way. Them arms. <laughs> yeah, them anchor arms. Yeah. My man is not a wimp. He yeah. is a jerk right now. And he's got full bars. But can he do anything with it? Senpak doesn't need those bars. You may got three of those. I got three stocks on the other side. That setup from the rocket was so good. Planned it to, you know, make sure the direction was going in a the circle. There's nowhere to go. Big hitbox. Ooh, yeah, we bring it around town. Okay. See you, Rev. Gotta find the opening. The up tilt, okay. Just one fair. 
Uh oh, watch out for the down strong as well. The post is missing. There's Ooh. Revelum, gets a spike too. Get done. Not down and out just yet. Goofy Cooper getting that combo started. Not able to find the forward air reset. He was able to do that really well on the first stock, but I think maybe Rev getting a little bit more comfortable with the DI, mm -hmm. so it didn't work that time. Slime cancel, staying alive. That's your last opportunity, though. Okay, the spike into the down, uh, down should I say. It's the Nair as well, can find it. Here, that's a toaster shooter. This man is an absolute super reveler doing anything he can to get faster, but God, it is out. <laughs> watch out for the laser, watch out for the toast. Whole lot of things you gotta watch out for. But he's gonna need to recruit that peanut guy or something. He needs the 2v1 right now. Senpak looking crazy in this game, number one. Great coverage as well. Even if you dodge out uh, from that down strong in the, in the, on the ground, I've got a big F tilt as well. Sweet spot with the big fist as well to, to make sure. Oh my goodness, that was a fantastic showing of what Jimmy Neutron's tools can do. Mm -hmm. All the way from that neutral spacing into what we were talking about. You get that hit into the edge guards and just wall of pain into the blast zone. Scary, scary to deal with for sure. All right, let's see what the, I wonder what the counter pick is here. The platforms were a really interesting part of that mm -hmm. because it gave Three, Rev an opportunity two, to go low one. in a lot of situations, which I think worked out really well. So I wonder, is Rev going to try to play to that again? No, going goes, for the moving platform. Goes back to the fields. Okay. Well, not, yeah, uh, see what the fields can do in this matchup. I don't feel like it might favor uh, Revelo just because of the you know, moving platform. Maybe yeah. trying to get combos out going a long time. You can extend there too, but. Yeah, get that like, stretcher. Yeah, for sure. Senpai's conversion zone, like I said before, with Jimmy, he's doing a good job. Good cancel off the, off the jab into the grab as well. A couple of things, and there's the rock he's got to dodge out for as well. Listen, yeah, up tilt starter. That's what you're looking for, right? You want to get that starter as SpongeBob. He's a little stubby, but once he gets in, slap him up into the corner. He can't shield, right? He's going to get teetered in this game. Something you always got to watch out for. The US Rocket just to cover anything after. The bottom spike not doing his job. Can't find a no F tilt, but there's the up tilt into the up strong. Man, go to space. Man. I think we're looking at the Rocket episode right now. Thought it's taking a buy out of something, but can't find the right thing. He wants to take a buy out. I love that usage of Goddard in the corner. I am very impressed with Senpak's recovery, because that is so exploitable when you're in the hover car. Ooh. I really thought he was looking for something there. Revelo not feeling confident off stage, which is interesting. I feel like he had the advantage. A little bit of bubble theory out here. We play melee. Yeah, but the up, the up tilt, should I say. Gets out of the way, but again, you know, Revelo's getting with the god in immediately. There we go. He's got that corner. This is that situation. You have to get those. That is what Rev is missing. If you can find those edge guards, there we go. Overcooked it, forcing Senpak low with the pure intimidation. You see now Revelo with the lead. What can he do? This is the first time he's actually actually had a substantial lead. Gets out of the way of God, but you can see uh, Senpak just there. He's gonna cover any option out with the bubble is coming out more and more. We don't care about that though. Bumping it. No, we do not. That bubble, it's, it's so tough trying to use that projectile, the approaching bubble as SpongeBob against a zoner. Yeah. I'm loving the jab counts just from Senpak, but I understand you. I don't need to be near you straight away and kind of back off, kind of bake something out. But again, Revelo not giving it too much to him. Avoids the rocket, avoids the down from as well. So many things you gotta watch out for. Yeah, indeed. And now we're back in the hover car. But again, Senpak's so good, he knows when to swing out of the corner with that timing. Just It's always during Revelo's startup frame. Yeah. A little bit of bubble, force him low. Okay. Well, if you know your win condition. Yeah. Ooh, again, during that startup. Nice, Love nice. The slime cancel as well to kind of make sure, you know what, I can grab one move for free. You gotta get buy one, get one too though. Yeah, that's your one. <laughs> Almost got two bars as well. A slight advantage there. Not gonna go too far. Let's see if we can actually convert off of it though. I haven't seen a lot of like big slime combos from Rev. All these re-grabs, I'm loving the reset situations from Revlo understanding where Senpai wants to be covering it. Oh my God. Ooh, Nobody man. missed the eye on there, but still survives. Good, aggressive comeback uh, from Senpai. They're so good. I don't know how he's so consistent with it because you know he's going to do it, but something about the timing mix-ups is just too much. Okay, send 
barely not able to get that kill, but we still got the anti-airs. The juggle game so strong. Okay, he's gonna try to cover with a bubble on the down tilt as well. There's the goofy goofy in there. Yeah, of course with it, yep. Slap him up. Throw him up and then duff him out. Three stocks to one right now. It's looking pretty different than the first game. Yeah, has to burn that level two slime to make sure he stays in the game. And that forward air is starting to look more and more threatening from Rev. The way it was used in the first game was so scary. And then we kind of saw it cycle out of the rock, paper, scissors, and it feels like it's coming back now. I really want to see those, those hard landing combos again. Ooh, then he gets pushed on the teeth, just can't find it. Rev looking for something devious. But now we've got three up as four. Ooh. Into the slime counts from the bear down there. Uh, Senpak was trying to cut something. Fortunately, the Revelo is not eating. I now we see more of those bubbles. I can't believe he ran into that. Yeah. Did not expect the quadruple bubble. <laughs> this is rough. Yeah, Jimmy on the ledge is exactly the best character, but now you see Revelo taking advantage of it. He's playing around the world, but he has to close out the stock, right? 112 is not going to get you anywhere if he gets back for free. I like the slime up as well. B as well. Slime up B as well. Trying to make sure he gets there a little bit faster. So rough the timing. That God has been summoned yet again. The spike! Oh. And he's not going to be able to recover. And now Senpak is back in the game, Lentini. That was hot. And now we saw what happened that last game. That one stock. Okay, the bubble blowing. Not going to be enough off the top. If he can get that corner pressure, get out of here and just get the edge guard started on Rev, he could take this right here. The burn from the toast was applying a lot of damage, but unfortunately just couldn't close it out. And Revelo gonna hang on strong, but the storm, it was starting to brew, honestly. Senpak was coming back into the game. Revelo gonna hold, uh, hold on strong, bring it to 1-1 one, one now. Man, what a turnaround in that game number two. But not just that. The, the back and forth, right? Like those first two stocks, it was the SpongeBob show, right? Yep. We were back in 2001 watching Nickelodeon. <laughs> yep. And then all of a sudden, Jimmy Neutron, you know, he bursts back on the scene. And I'm really excited to see what's that going to look like at the start of this next game? Who's really got the momentum at this point? It's for sure. It's best of three now. So you have yeah. obviously, you know, we keep saying it for a reason. You know, there's no best of five. Uh, you have to make sure what you're doing now. You have to keep that momentum going. Ooh. And we are going to go to, uh, you know, get that food. lasagna. To lasagna, baby. Yo, y'all, if you like that pizza, use that uh, code in the chat, GOMMEL30. Domino's Canada got that 30% off all weekend. If this makes you feel hungry, no better time than the present to get that order started. Okay, up to Got it, laser as well. Look at the double team, Lantini. Yeah, we're going back and forth playing ping pong right now. You want to talk about retro? We can play a retro. The goofy <laughs> yeah. goober not working out right there, though. Hits him off the, off the platform. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was unique. I kind of like it though. It gave Senpak just that little bit of pressure and it totally worked. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good dog. That was all intimidation. And you can see Revlon didn't even know where to go. Ooh. Slightly misspaced on that forward air. I think he was a little too high when he hit it, allowing Senpak to DI out. And that's those slight optimizations that he needs to get a hold of in this final game. We're talking about who has the momentum right now with Senpak. Yeah. Slam cancel, okay, into the up strong. Ooh. Ah, uh, that Nowhere was... Nowhere to go from Senpai. Maybe a forced error, a forced SP. Still, uh, Revelo put it back all the way to even, by the way. He had a full stop deficit. But now, look at the courage. Yeah, that was a little funky. And this time, yeah, we just go right for the anchor arms. Oh Recognize God. he wasn't quite in grab range. Are we going to slime cancel? Yes, dipping him back down. I want to reset this neutral. Okay, the burner is applied from the toast. Did a good job from Senpak. Okay, the up are coming out more and more. Slime cap to the down. They're looking for the reset himself. Loving this match chain from both his players. Yeah, you always have that, am I going to go high, am I going to go low? It's a very fun part of the combo structure of this game because most characters have a viable spike. For sure. That was beautiful from Senpak, by the way. But Revelo just kind of ending that talk at the moment again, bringing it back to even. Always the back foot, but still keeping it uh, to a very even degree. We're going to see who can, you know, clear off these next two stocks. Okay, watch out for Goddard. You see Revelo. He's retreating to the platform. He doesn't want to take that center stage because Goddard is just sitting there. Hey, down tilt, jab, cancel, looking for something. But again, SpongeBob got all the frame there in the world to kind of come back. Jimmy's not exactly a subpar uh, outfield options. The Goddard not doing too much, but has been summoned. The there bike is there. And we saw it again. I think the whole reason that Senpak was even able to get a grab to get that started was because Revelo was scared of dashing back too far to get too close to Goddard. 
so he tries to fade back out and in real quick. And Senpak's gonna be ready for that at this point. Every time the trading blow seems to be in SpongeBob's favor. Who's who you've been there? There's the grab into the up throw, looking for something. The forward air spike. Ooh, the up airs trying to chase him as well. I can't find too much of it though. And they're both scrambling heavy right now, Lenti. Yeah, we got even stocks, not quite even percents or even resources. Revelo, he doesn't even need that slime, and he is putting on a clinic right now. There we go, burns it, but does not get the shoelaces to convert. That aglet just couldn't find you know, the last part hit, Lenti. My man can't tie his shoes. Absolutely. Goddard covering the ledge super well there. I like that. Does get beaten up a little bit, but the coverage because Reversal. you're in that hit stun. Okay, off the toes, the burn up, uh, effect <laughs> applying very heavily. Down tilt to spike him up, but just can't find that last part to connect. More toast. Yeah, you think, my, you think my man would have figured it out by now? He has been cooking that for way too long. Got it right there, trying to get the spike, yep. Very sneaky, the up tilt lingering enough to get the up strong, but of course, has to burn that level two slime. Staying alive in the game. I like that usage of burst. I think that was a good time to use it because you're in this last hit position of the stock. Whoever gets this is invariably going to get that early combo, which gives you so much momentum going into the final stock. Oh, the, the teeter, but he wasn't ready. Damn, Senpak could not convert in the, in, in, in time needed. That was so unfortunate, barely dying. I thought for sure he was gonna be able to get out of that. But now here's that early momentum. Only 11, can you close it out? No, the whiff again. Revelo needs to lock this down. Yeah, so Senpak's time to run away with it now. You don't wanna give Senpak an option. Look at all this ledge trapping. He's taking 30 already, even more. We're still counting. We're hitting him with the ice, ice baby, forcing him high. And then the Goddard combos. We going back and forth right now like it's a tag fighter. Man's best friend for a reason, Lentini. I'm telling you, you voice the toast yet again. I don't think he realizes he didn't pick Angry Beavers. Okay, Revelo got that stock off. Gonna see what he can do now, but God summoned immediately. As soon as Senpak died, as soon as he got reborn, God was on the field. <laughs> okay, we space it. Okay, we can a conversation. We talked about it before. It, it worked in that last game, right? He threw out like four bubbles in a row, and you know what? Senpak got hit by it. Might as well try again. For all the zoning now, you have to watch out for the jams and rockets. <laughs> this feels so laser. bad. But here's the problem. Now he finally got down, but he is between the two of them. If Senpak can get out of disadvantage. Ooh, that's scary. Revelo starts to come back, the down tilt, covering a lot of options on the ledge. Jimmy, not the best on the ledge either. Yeah, not the best advantage. you can see. Oh, oh, no! He has to burn it. He's able to get back just barely. One piece of slime to each of these guys. If they get a big hit there, there is no burst to keep them alive. Got it, just sitting helplessly wait, watching uh, his oh, owner no. in the bubble, getting caught right now. No toast available. You can see Revelo dashing in and out. The ping pong combo from Goddard. Not doing the best, though. Not a good boy for now, but still, still surviving. Slime capsules? Oh, I love that because he's been using that so often and getting punished for it. It was a great time to slime cancel, but Senpak, ready for it. Both of them back in the neutral on this reset. Charges the rocket, gonna see what he can do next. Yep, avoiding it. Good bait. Oh, the trade, great. not doing the best. F took nearly killing. And you get past Goddard. Oh, you no! It's, it's over. The dunks over and over again. Sempak kept finding the perfect Goddard spacing. We see our boys popping off in the background as well, even more excited than the people on stage. <laughs> I love to see that kind of energy for some Nasby Top 8 yeah, my, yeah, man, to me and my co-commentator. Mid uh, set last time while he was playing, it was amazing. Wow, immediately up strong in the air. We were talking about the embers earlier, right? Yeah, you took my ember. We got one Ember still in this, holding it down against the Aang army. Yeah, yeah, another Aang we're seeing in top eight. Third one now we're seeing. One thing that I've found really interesting about watching Nintunas play is the way he uses that cheer meter. Yeah. Dude just, like, he pulls out full Beyblades, let it rip, and hope for the best. <laughs> Why not, man? Let it rip. She's a rock star for a reason, you know? She make <laughs> yeah, her own rules. Okay, that air up strong. That's another thing. Nintunas loves to, he loves to like do like the, the tour bus drive by with that thing. And if you're not ready for it, sometimes he can do that completely safely in neutral. There you go, watch out for that forward air. Oh, yeah, again, he's making him with the guitar. That is looking really good so far. Sundra needs to find answers. He lets it rip. I told you, on the wake up, oh, we go in. Okay. I'll be into the grab and see up strong as well. Okay, we've got combos. Let's see where they go next on the platform, trying to chase them down. I respect it. Went for the reset with that up air instead of just going for a little bit more damage. Because honestly, you can, can maybe convert that into a stock, right? Ooh, that's so threatening from the <laughs> I like the oh. to bait him out. 
Okay, but of course the up B is gonna be everything. Yeah, it's cool. We come there. We got told you. This man, he knows what he's about. He rocks out. That concert for a reason. You see Ember letting strings fly. My man Post Malone out here because he's feeling like a rock star. Absolutely. Still the one four stops. Yeah, the rift in the air. Oh, and the charge put a little stank on it. Yo, he's running away with this. Yeah, this is crazy. Yo, Sandra, you good? Okay, guess how the way the up B. Also, shout out Sandra's default controls. Uh, what is that? I've never met a person who plays on default controls. That's crazy. The Nickelodeon yet either of like. They know something we don't by the moment, yeah, though. They're real. They got to figure out how to take one stop. There it is. That's one. Yeah, there's a reason he's up there. We're back here, right? Back. Hit him with a drive by. Trying to cover with the down tilt, trying to cover any type of ledge get up. He's facing that up air. That was an opportunity for Sundra to get one of those big ang combos started. Nintunas, yeah, realizes that up is not safe and just spends the slime. Yep. Very willing to do that. And this time fading it back. So good on the defense. Uh-oh, I don't You're think he's going to be able to recover from that. Yeah, that recovery is very susceptible. Uh, you know, she might have really good strong uh, on-stage presence, right? But off-stage is a diff uh, different game. Yeah, she's, she's got some, right there. some really good buttons. She does lack a little bit in that speed, and that's a place where Sundra, if he gets the right positioning, can really force his will. Mm. But when you're in the corner right there, there's nowhere for you to go for that tricky mix-up movement. A couple of juggles from Sundra coming out more and more. He's getting very comfortable in this set. Okay. Not looking for the finish right there. Just looking for extensions. And again, yeah. Nintunas cannot recover. This is turned around. Oh my goodness. Somehow, all of a sudden, Nintunas on one stop and with no slime. You know, that's one downside of being willing to use it on offense so much or to allow yourself to really let rip those up Bs and make them safe is when you are off stage and you need the slime boosted up B, there's not a lot to work with. Going back and forth, now you can see the two just again a little bit more comfortable in the neutral, but you know, these deficits are not helping him. Okay, Sandra was you know, losing a lot at the start, but now they kind of found their stride. Okay, there you go. One, that forward air, another tool that he's so good at using and converting, only 21%. And hey, we got that cheer meter. You never know. I really want to see Nintunas hold on to this slime for the defense. I feel like he needs it for the recovery. Yeah, and that's what I feel like Ember has to kind of play defensively. She plays too aggressively with the slime. When she's out, if you get pushed off stage like this, look at this. This might be over. Out. Yeah, you're dead. What? Wait. Oh, no, Sandra. No. Not like this. Oh, man. Yeah, he's shaking his head over here. Didn't want, didn't want to win that way. That you is, had the win. That is a... Uh... I'll be throwing a century. I'm gonna be real. With you. That heard, is crazy. <laughs> some, I heard someone say he thought he had two Three, stocks, which makes sense. Because he definitely had one. the resources to at least like float up a little bit right. there, right? That was unfortunate for Sundra. But hey, if you're an Intunus in Loser's Ace, we take those. Take those absolutely to the bank, to the concert, wherever we want. You can see Intunus getting the encore right now. Great uh, lead. It's exactly how we started the first game. Yeah, we'll call that calculated, right? He knew. Oh my goodness, that forward air. But like you said, that's how the first game started, right? Yep. It's all about how it ends. And Sundra what, may have lost out on that game, but in a very good position to still take oh this set. Oh my god. Wow. Did that, that blind? I think that was up special into, into slime into up special. Yeah, I think so. It sounded like because it was a multi hit. Yo, we got ladders. Yeah, for real. Look, you may be reducing the knockback, but when you're carrying someone, stretching them vertically into the blast zone like that. It doesn't matter how little knockback you have. And the tuners are starting to get more and more comfortable. I feel like Sundra made a big mistake in that first game, and they're definitely starting to pay for it. Oh, my goodness. And that sent up didn't get the dunk, which actually worked out to his advantage. Full cheer meter as well, uh -oh. and lets it rip. Oh, yeah, and that's out. another stock. Talk about a headbanger for a reason. Then. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, is not stopping this train at the moment. Well, she got that cannon hypnosis, and I think it might be hypnotizing Sundra right now because this is looking absolutely like Nintunas said. Well, just the needle isn't really enough, though. Okay, no, that's strong for you. Ooh, Again. doubles down. I respect it. You got to make some risks, right? You got, you got to do something. Up special into the slide, Ooh. up strong in the air, not doing too much. And again, Ember's recovery not the best. Nintunas is making it work, though. Sundra yeah, 
It's not making it easy either. That like forced error situation, right? Where he had to be so careful recovering and he just overcooked it a little bit, trying to perfectly space for the ledge. Go to protect how you can see the Tinnis doing a good job of covering whatever comes after the forward air. Up coming, yeah, either way. So many hits coming out. Oh my goodness, these up airs. Tries to finish it off with the forward air. I wouldn't be surprised if that would have killed off the side there with so, bad GI. Have to be so careful, but now it's opportunity for Sundra. Keeps him off stage. Great use of that air up strong. Okay, you know, honestly, Sundra hasn't taken too much percent on this second start. Oh, oh, amazing. Amazing. oh never mind. They've actually brought it all the way back to even. And again, so I was saying before, only taking 50 percent is that really to anything to the avatar? Yeah, that's all it takes, right? You get those little pokes, and Tunis has to work so hard to fight in this neutral and absolutely has the tools to do it with a character like this. Sure. But as soon as you get sent off stage, that's the thing that makes this character a little bit weaker in the meta, especially when you're up against an edge guarder like Aang. You can just die at any percent. Covered a lot of options, you know, with the projectile in the air. Forward air hitting so far. Forcing you to positions you don't want to be in. You can see the combo potential is great for Nintuna. Trying to get the forward air spike, can't find it. He's chasing on the ledge. There's the up top on the ground. Takes the stock, still has the lead. Yeah, great stuff there to close that out. We see some movement on the platform. Wave Dash is trying to keep himself fresh, ready to go into this last stock. But that's the thing. Is it going to be the last stock? Can Sundra get that cheeky little poke? This is all he needs. One little read right here will be it. I don't think they were ready for all the hitboxes from the up special. Avoids the Astrom as well. Maybe Sandra getting a little bit too antsy. Like you said before, the Lenti. Sometimes you have to take the risk. Ooh. Are we going to pull the trigger? Maybe wait a little bit longer. I see that cheer ready to go. What you got in Tunis? Ooh, with the ice needles. And now that is all gone. And Sundra very much back into this. Yeah, honestly, only down 30%. Or even 39 either way. Very close to bringing it back. It's all about that first neutral open, uh, neutral open. Look, I'm not trying to do biased commentary right here, but I want to see a game three. <laughs> I don't care who wins, just make it a game three, please. Okay, this one up throw into the couple of offers. Can't find that second one though. And the tuna starts to just bounce all around the stage. But now because you burn that slime, and tunis once again in a situation where you get sent off stage, that could be curtains. Has to be really careful in the corner here, putting himself in a risky situation, and that grab, that could be it. Uh, and Tunis is kind of looking for the big opening where they can actually kind of finish it. Here comes Sundra though. Oh no, I feel like again, these anti options being picked apart. And got that one bar. That little bit of defensive strength could be what it takes for Nintunas to get back into this. Or do you do what you've been doing? Do you keep burning it out? Ooh, that landing hitbox. Hold on though, Sundra charges it up. Can't find that initial hit. There's the up special there. Into the up strong. Are you dead? Yeah, wow. you are. Mintuna's going to keep on moving on. That first game is going to bite Sundra to the day of dusk. <laughs> My man beating the commentator allegations with that one. And he is still going. Advancing on loser's side. Still alive. Could not throw for content. Using the ember this time. Lord Gremlin on the Mecha Plaggers. This is what you wanted to see. Yeah, today, I love right? this character. Look, I don't even play this dude, but I just love him to bits. He is quite hilarious, yeah. There's so many games that they've done this with Plankton. Like, I think back to, like, the old PS2 games back when there were more, like, video game tie-in so. games. And Plankton was always in his mech suits. Shout out Lights, Camera, Pants. Anybody who played that on PS2. <laughs> Neutral's a conversation, you know? Well, neutral is a conversation. <laughs> oh, they're having a conversation. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. They might have... I assume that was starting as a button check. Wrong rule set, I believe. Oh, again. Yeah. You got to be ready for that. It's so easy to just mash buttons and be ready to go. Man, I've got these focus fuels in front of me, and that is not healthy. I need to, like... I need to get this away from me. Every time I see it, I start salivating. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, how are y'all doing today? Y'all having a good time? Let me pull y'all up real quick. We've been talking it through a little bit throughout the bracket, you know, who you have, who's going to win this whole thing. There's been a lot of mix-ups since then. I'm, I saw I'm hoping Sempak wins. You as, hoping as, for a, as, a Jimmy, as a Jimmy player, I hope Sempak wins. This guy is Three, going. Two, what about you? Do you feel one. it? I don't know who. Honestly, I really want to see the Plankton do well, so I got to root for Lord Gremlin now that I know he's still in the bracket. Now that there's the potential for a Plankton in Grand Finals after all the nerfs, please say it so. We're going to see what this villain can do by the moment. 
Uh, he's pushing uh, or being pushed sorry, to the ledge more and more now to the skies. Uh, Vivid not stopping. Yeah, that's one problem, right? You're big, you're heavy, you're slow. You're going to get comboed. And we've seen already how well Ember can combo people in this bracket. Let's see if that continues to be the case as this game progresses. Vivid not been touched yet. Not a zero at the moment. Okay, gets out of the way of that move. And, and now only up by 8%. Meanwhile, Vivid are going to keep on going yet again. Double up strong, waiting for the tech on the platform. Good tech checks there. Forward s to get another grab reset. And yo, Vivid starts yeah, putting them team. This is crazy. Knows exactly how to deal with Plankton in the neutral. I think that's another thing that has shadow nerfed Plankton over time. He's one of those characters who, day one, he's going to always be top tier no matter how good he is. Turns out he was actually also cracked. <laughs> but people figuring out how to deal with his shenanigans, how to deal with the sauce and not get caught out, has made it so much harder for him to get his game plan started. Uh, you know, Lord Rebel trying to get into the zoning going. That chain not doing anything, and now you're getting pushed away further and Ooh. further. Oh my god. Oh! And yeah, only 54%, and that grab, yeah, that's gonna whip at that range. And Vivid knew it, just walked up with no fear. Doesn't matter. That's the counterplay. Okay, misses the grab right there, no big punish right there, but okay, the Nair coming out. Okay, you can't be in the air, of course, to save Mecha Plankton tells you Yeah, sure. against Mecha Plankton. Okay, yeah, that recovery is so good. It's hard to challenge it. Honestly, with the way Vivid's been able to dominate the neutral, I can totally understand the idea of, you know what? I'm not even going to overcommit on these ledge traps. Just yeah. let him do his thing. Great snipe, though, with that down air. Just the threat. Vivid's, Vivid's sniping for a reason in the, in the Twitter app. Follow them for sure. But you can see, uh, very comfortable against Mecha Plankton in the way that they're playing. Look at this. Dragging oh them back towards oh. it. Oh, with that spike and oh my god, yo. Chill. Oh, wanted it. Wanted it a little bit too much. A little too much stank on that edge guard. Okay, slam cancel to the laser. Tries to pull up the source dash attack. Can't find it. Damn. It's a pretty, pretty comfortable game for Vivid. I'll give you a ticket to that was pretty dominant. I gotta be real, my man Lord Gremlin needs to, needs to lock in for this game number two. Because like you said, best of three. You don't have a lot of time to adapt and you are running out of it here. Didn't get any of those big, like, Plankton bread and butters started. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, you know, Mega Plankton known for being that big grappler, but we weren't yeah. seeing too many grabs come out. No command grab, no actual grab either way. Not enough to kind of benefit from, from staying until for too long. Vivid is very comfortable. You know what? I'm gonna come up to you. Do my show, do my Rockstar band. Yeah. You can do about you. It's a little Three, And even two, when we did see one. the grabs come out, like the two times I think I saw grabs, both of them missed because Vivid knew the counterplay, which in both cases, it was that normal grab as well as that crazy claw grab. If you just get too close to him, they whip. Smashing with that guitar. Yo, don't chill. Okay, so good fight back from uh, Vivid early on this time. Vivid also getting their own grabs here. Yeah, that is often the counterplay to grapplers, right? If you can just grab them instead because they're trying to get in and grab you. That's a good point. Hit him with a drive-by tour bus there. And now playing the beats on him. And an early stock, only 8%. Finally a grab coming out. But only an F-Kill walk. Like the forward end. Another reset grab. Good option. We've seen that from a lot of these players. It seems to be the meta right now. It's like getting a big combo starter, throwing him back down to the stage, and then grabbing him again for the reset so he can get even more damage. Oh my God. That strong up air is ridiculous. Crazy. She needs it, though. She does need it, honestly. She's a hard working girl, apparently. Okay. Yeah, she is. Look, it's a hard career to be a rock star. You gotta travel like 400 days a year. It's brutal. That was nice. Da Scoop. Da Scoop is crazy. Uh, Vivid's picking up where they left off. Karen coming out, trying to have the helping hand. Even the 2v1, it is not enough. Hey, you can hear Plankton saying, a little help. My man needs it right now. Something. I love the voices in this game. Ooh, great timing. Yeah, he's had to score recovery maybe a bit too long, and now he's getting pushed off stage even more and more. Ooh. And Vivid already full stops for one. You don't usually see Plankton get edge guarded this hard. Yeah. Usually he's able to fight around those, but the way Vivid is just outspacing with these projectiles, it doesn't matter if you have that up air because I'm all the way back at the stage. That's a chump bucket buster to get rid of that first stock. And finally, Gremlin shows the time of the life bit. Might be a little bit too late. Who knows though? Okay, slime cancel. The classic. Yep, into the yeah. source to finish it off. 
Get rid of that DI real quick. Style on him. But again, those hair grabs, so good for Vivid. Ooh. Wait, this might, this is not over. He is turning it on. No grab again. All the notes, the forward air spike, trying to get the slime pads onto the grab, and now it's a jump bucket buster yet again from Lord Gremlin. Look at the zoning. Trying to get the ledge home, trying to cover something with the up special. Going to interrupt him for it. Really trying to catch Lord Gremlin coming in there, not able to find it. But the thing is, you're playing so safe as Vivid, it doesn't matter if he doesn't come in and get punished for the aggression there, because you're just going to get clipped out by those down airs off stage. So strong from Vivid. My goodness. Yeah, it was, it was the opening gambits in the first parts of the, the first and second game where, you know, Vivid will just run away with it and then Lord Gremlin has to be like, damn, I've got to come back from everything, but it wasn't enough. It just was not enough. That was a quick 2-0. And yeah, now my man Vivid going to be advancing on loser's side. I guess even still, he's up against a character who has a lot of projectiles. We'll see what Rooftop can do with that, that singular uh, platform in the middle. There's going to be a lot of plat dropping going on. Now, SpongeBob's definitely a character that I expect in Tunis to bully off the stage. Yeah. But of course, Ember, not exactly the best out of shield, uh, out of shield you know, frame data, right? Yeah. But SpongeBob is such a good scrapper. Ooh. And look at that. My man learned how to tie his shoes. He remembered the song that time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of like mid range zone breaking, right? Not like you're actually a zoner with this character of Ember, but. Uh, SpongeBob wants to be super close, right? He wants to be so close he can tell what brand of shampoo you're using. Okay, forward spike again, trying to go for the re grab. Can't find it. There's another duck. The two is DI in for his life. He dies enough stage. It's over. Ooh, that that forward air. Save. Getting covered so well, and Revy more than happy to just use those goofy goober nares to keep him at bay, sending him off into the corner. But great call out from Mentunus. He keeps doing this. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you got to drop shield eventually. You're going to get shield broken there. So honestly, I almost feel like in that case, you might want to just take the shield break. Oh my god, just getting rid of him with that big spin. And now Revelo, another stop lead, full stop as well. We're going to keep on going forward that spike, trying to get on stage. And yep, there's the gimp. Of course, has to burn the slide. Ooh, spike on him. And converting so well, the reactions from Revy. The teacher as well. Revelo, you know, just keeping the tunis off, you know, off the stage at all times, exposing that slime, exhausting all the recovery as much as they can. Opportunity, though. We talked about bullying off stage. You now just immediately getting back with the fishbowl. Does not want to deal with that one bit, making it so hard for Nintunis to get the offensive string started. Nintunis on his last stop in his first game. Okay. Ooh, falls out of the up tilt. The classic. Multi hits, bro. Multi hits. Oh man, up there into the forward air spike. No grab. Good bait from them to go back to the ledge. We said there's a side pass to the forward air, and the rapid jab is going to keep him away. But once again, we find in Tunis in that situation where you've got no slime. Ooh, Ooh got to be careful. Forward air going to whip, giving him an opportunity, but great grab call out from Revilo. Yeah, and even though I think Revelo's kind of understanding what he just wants on these uh, Waveland baits, so just, you know, he gets on the platform, jumps immediately off, see what he does next. There's the note slow coming out. Yeah, that knockback angle was crazy. It was pretty nasty. We got full slime. Come on, give me a super. No, nah, it doesn't even need that it. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. You got full resources, your opponent's so scared. Man, that lost screen is rough for Ember. She is not having a good time. And SpongeBob, meanwhile, he dances on the other side. Yeah, he's he super on you. jiggy yeah. with it. I'm gonna show you how to tie your shoes. <laughs> it's a very easy thing to do. Man, I haven't heard that song in like 15 years. It's been ages. But you know what? It's still in there. You'll do the loop de loop and pull, and your shoes are looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and now Nintendo has to kind of figure out, you know, where do I go? This yeah. Second game? What do I? What do I need to do? You don't have a lot of time to work with. He is locking in with the headphones this time. That's how you know it's serious. Ooh! We haven't seen this all day. I didn't know Nintunas had a Danny, but you know, if you're playing Ember, I don't see why you don't. So, yeah, he's just really into Danny, I guess. Yep, sure not. Why not? It's a, it's a good franchise. 
I really want to see what kind of like weird back air cancel shenanigans he can get up to. Because this character, Shamu. Yeah, I want to see what the laser can do about that big shout coming out. Love those couple hitboxes. Yeah, it's a very similar thing to Ember, right? They both have that. In his case, he's just got that howl as opposed to the guitar. He doesn't even need it. Also, going for the cybernetic skin. I like to see it. Yeah, someone grab it, see up throws, see what he does next. Goes for the, the, the down strong, should I say. Yeah, Revelo loves that. Is that the first time we've seen the Imagination Station up smash? I feel like it might be. Yeah. It's interesting to see, as soon as you're in a new matchup, Revelo immediately has a specific adaptation for that matchup. That's what these best players just do, uh, Lemsky, man. They just understand the situations are being put in and are able to kind of force their way out. I'm trying to go for the ledge trap there. Not able to find it, but it doesn't matter because you got those teleports into the Howl. 113 on this first stock, but you're holding that fragile lead. So hard to kill Danny. Yeah, big up strong as well. On the ground, not able to kill there either way. Ooh. Bring it around town. That has been the bread maker for Revelo right there. Doing such a good job of finding those at the ledge over and over and over throughout this bracket. Okay. Yup, throw it into the uh the map. Goofy Goop is coming out. Good fight from the Tuna, so it's kind of push him away. Oh, that yeah, down strong in the air, yup. The timing from Nintunas was so good. And what's Revelo gonna do? You kind of just hope that he doesn't get it. Great conversion from Nintunas as well. Already 45% racked up on Revelo. And yeah, just using that intangibility to get back to stage, forcing him to fight in that scrappy situation. And Danny is more than happy to scrap with you. He's got so many crazy buttons. Ooh, Anchor Arms getting the starter though. 64%, you can absolutely bring this back. He is a light boy. Yes, one of the heaviest guys for sure. He's a little sponge again, that's oh, that how strong it is. Yeah. That is it. He tried to use the, the slime to get back, but it's not enough. That feels extra bad, right? When you use the slime and you still don't make it. It feels terrible. movement from Nintunas. Every time it looks like Rivolo can get in there and finally punish him, he's just slightly spaced out. Really playing this character well. I would not realize that this was a secondary. He's just betting him really well at the moment. Okay, the bubble finally coming out. Doesn't matter though. Ooh, the Gamma Hell not gonna be enough. Off the temple as well, this guy is crazy. I thought that DI mix-up was going to do him in, but somehow Revelo was ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now back and forth again, except for neutral is a conversation. No one's come back to stage. Look, he, he was listening to that song we were singing earlier, the part that goes forward, back, side to side. Oh, yeah. Loop to loop. Yeah, he's, he's just moving on the stage a little, trying to remember how to tie his shoes for the next game. He's going to have to lace them up because he needs to go hard. You have to do something for sure. And honestly, that daddy counter pick, we weren't thinking it would do too well until yeah. that display of what we just saw. Usually, when you see a counter pick like that, right, it means like I'm on my last legs. I'm just throwing whatever's out, see if it sticks. But man, are we sure that this isn't his main? Has he been sandbagging all bracket? Daddy honestly, I think he has been. This daddy's impressed me. Absolutely crazy. And we see Revelo just kind of chilling one. out, waiting. I always respect when players just take that 30 seconds, pause, think through it. And here we go. It is pizza time. Hashtag Domino's out here. Yeah, he's trying to massage and have to do something else. SpongeBob wasn't looking exactly too swaggy in that first game. See so what can do the second one. Or third game, let's say. Yeah, I am curious to see how much the counter pick affects this. The platform layouts, they're all going to be a little bit different. But honestly, I don't feel like it was platform layouts that were really the driving factor in that last game. Sure. When the down tilt was like, you see Revlo kind of taking his time, as want to do. Uh, every time he goes in for a neutral exchange, he takes a lot of damage, you know? It's very hard to test uh, Danny in the neutral. And that Howl. My man is cooking with gas right now. Oh my Damn. goodness, he is still in this. So that grand final. Yep, coming out for uh, Revlo. Neutral just taking another stop. Uh, this Danny counterpick is really working a charm for him. 
Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, get the grab and the conversion. Doesn't matter. The option selects so good. Gets him off stage. Forces the early upbeat. Great recovery from Revelo, but you're still off stage. Oh my goodness. How did he get advantage out of that? Okay, trying to go for a second forward. Maybe a bit too greedy. What in the projectiles. Revelo going to stay in it. Leading out a bit too much. There's the grab. Okay, we slap him up out here. Now it's my turn, but you can't edge guard this man. So hard to hit back. Oh, slight whiff. That could have been it right there. Not quite able to find you. See, he's looking for so many of these little things. Yeah. But again, that spacing from Nintunis is just one step ahead all the time. We can, we can bait as well, as I was going to say. There's the backhand taking that stock. And now Revelo uh, has probably about two stocks each, but... Still, Nintunis with a great lead. And there we saw that Danny Phantom lightness, right? Like, I think that was pretty decent DI, but that back air at 100 all the way on the right side of that platform was enough to close it out. Yeah. Okay, unsafe forward air. Now, finally, it's Revelo's time. Who's going to push him onto the platform? The forward air spike. Up till into the slime cancel and takes the stop. Yo, Revelo. This is a goofy goober for real. Oh, yeah, we in this. He be goofy, he be goobin'. Oh, my goodness. Three stocks now on his side, able to bring it back from what looked like certain defeat with the way that Tunis was playing. My man is adapting on the fly. Able to pull that out of your little spongy butt is crazy. <laughs> this SpongeBob knows no bounds. The down to extending everything. Revelo, putting it all out right now. You don't want to lose right now. Yeah, reminding us why this character is considered so strong. He may be simple, but he has got some complicated combos, and Re Revelo doing a great job of showcasing them here on this. I was a top four qualifier. I believe so. Okay, great shield there. I haven't seen a lot of shield coming out from Natunis. I'm gonna be real. He's mostly just spacing. Okay, with the back. Oh, oh. hitbox item instead of shield. Like, why not? But okay, back to two stocks apiece. But now Revelo in a good lead. I can't believe that back air killed. Revelo really just held out to die faster. And honestly, I don't blame him. Like, you did not expect that. Okay. This could be anybody's game. Oh. win, baby. Why not? Look, he's not just bringing it around town. He's bringing the whole set around. Back to his side of the court, 65%. Danny doesn't have any easy kills here. He's got to get those edge guards. Meanwhile, you're getting slapped up on your last stock, my guy. Yeah, speaking of slap, that forward are coming out more and more. Avoid the jab. It's the jab one that hit on the reverse, but still the Goofy Goober coming out. The nah. Yeah, just get back to stage safe. This is Wernan Tunis. He's slowing it down. He's playing, it's that whiff punish game, but he gets whiff punished instead. Revelo has turned it on. That's a bad trade. Terrible trade. Now the daddy is looking more and more like a secondary as the game has been progressing. Yeah. Revelo feels very comfortable. There's the forward that spike. Doesn't even chase him. Oh! oh! Send him to driving school, but much like his actual test, he fails in the end. That was an opportunity to absolutely style his way into the next part of this bracket. But Nintunis, it doesn't matter, is going to go down anyway. And Revelo, after that dominant game from Nintunis on the Danny, finds a way to turn it around with the two stock. And the thing is, is that Revelo was literally winning, or sorry, losing that first game, obviously, and then towards the first half of the second game. But I don't know, he got some sort of SpongeBob friends, you know, F U N. <laughs> so sort of power. Those first two letters. Absolutely. It was just, uh, you know, straight in that game. Man. Didn't drop the momentum and just kept it going. I That's was on I'm last week because I knew I was doing this block. I'm sure. like, okay, I'm going to, you know, catch up on the ranks. So many Ang players. Good for a reason. We'll see wasting no time. He's a sick character. Yep, he's, he's cool. It's Avatar, bro. Of course it's cool. Look at this. He's also, like, not that easy. Like, yes, he's got those crazy combos. But the hitboxes can be a little small. We saw earlier in bracket there were some Ang players who were really struggling, especially on those slime cancel combos that he has to get down to find those perfect hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Speaking of which. Let's yeah, see how Vivid can kind of control, you know, this fast character uh, in Ang. Okay, yeah, Pixie yeah. losing the first stop right there. Vivid on a tear with this jackhammer, uh, with everything going on. 
I like that fall through up air from uh, Vivid. Able to just break that pretty non-committal. That Ang up air, we've seen him and other players just use it constantly throughout this entire bracket. So no surprise to see that as the option there. Okay. You see uh, Vivid very happy to establish platform, platform only. He likes to start off the uh, the jackhammer on the platform and then get it onto the ground to kind of cover like a kind of vertical option. And it's kind of on a pixel to kind of see where he can be next. Yeah, it is a bit of a risky strategy, I think, because it's it's the RNG. You don't know where that thing's going to go. Yep. It could decide to just hang out over on the side, and then it gives Vivid free reign. And once you're Rocco without that on the ground, it's so hard to control space. For sure. Man, that mop the floor is not working for Pixie. It was been... rude as hell, by the way. <laughs> yeah, real. You're really mopping the floor with him. That poor dog. Damn, all the juggles in the one, still Pixie can't get that final kill. Ooh. I think he mistimed that a little bit. I think, you know, you're scared of the overextension, and it's bound to happen. Okay, Big Bash not going to get thwarted in this way. Here come the projectiles more and more. You can see him get a little bit more comfortable. There's the Slime Capsule looking for that finisher. Could not find it, though. There we go. Those are the combos I like to see. Get that jackhammer started. Yes, yeah, walking away from him a little bit, making it easy for Vivid to get back to stage. But, you know, we got the good boy on lock. There we go. Oh, it just it went into the blast zone. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay. Pixie very comfortable with that, this neutral right now. I, mean, I might not exactly have the biggest lead, but still, if I can keep this projectile down to a projectile, let's say, down to a minimum, it's all gravy. Yeah, that get up attack to keep him safe there. That was a good call out. We don't see a lot of those. The down air as well. We don't talk about Rocco down air enough. That move is grody. It's a scary move. You gotta just hold that. I also, I love the idea of how Rocco preps for this. He just like grabs every multifarious thing he has in his kitchen. He's like, okay, we're gonna make this work. Now I'll go out to the tool shed, I'm gonna go out to the supply closet, just grab all this stuff, shove it in my pocket. The true DIY uh, dog for sure. I feel like the other competitors gotta be a little annoyed at this guy. Like, he's bringing so many items into the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, meanwhile, some of these guys are just out here with the fisticuffs. <laughs> Choose your weapons carefully. At the yeah, moment, you can see this Rocco choosing all the weapons he wants. Vivid, very comfortable uh, in neutral until he gets grabbed like this. Pixie getting back into the game. Uh, had a really commanding lead, but I feel like uh, Vivid, sorry, does a really good job of Nickel and Diamond's way back into the set. Yeah, Nickel and Diamond is a great word for it. Just the way that it gets away from you, right? You feel like you're doing so well because you get your big confirm, and then all of a sudden the set's even. And then you get ledge trap. Ooh, or you get up strong. I like the coverage as well. I will say, Pixie's done a really good job of not getting ladder combos. Yeah. So as I say that, hold up. No, it gets out. Okay, this is just back and forth. I just had to say something. I'm Loki, sorry. Loki I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pixie. That is crazy. That was my bad. <laughs> you got the next one, though. Lucky on Vivid right there, you know, they, like I said before, they did a good job of like keeping it at bay, even coming into the lead themselves with these projectile walls. But, you know, Pixie was always killing stocks first. And yeah. if, if, you, if you're clinical in these ways, you're going to benefit a lot. Absolutely. Very clinical. I want to see Pixie find ways to deal with that scrapping game from Aang. I feel like once Aang gets in, it's kind of just been free reign. Even if you don't get those big combos, which, you know, again, great stuff to Pixie for only letting that happen once in the game. That's very hard to do. Mm -hmm. But you're still Three, in that perpetual two, disadvantage trying one. to set up on your opponent, and that has been such a struggle. This is gonna be okay. It's a very dangerous day. Fight! Okay, though, we got the Tomino's Pizza time. Dommel 30, everybody. Remember that. That comment has been set on the field. Here we go. Go watch out for now. We're playing ball for a little bit in there. Yeah, there's that setup. Ooh, there you go. You had your day in the sun, and then Vivid gets in, and now you've got to hold all that. Nice extension with the, the needle. Okay. Vivid plays around that down air very well. Oh, just, just a wolf punish, right? 
Yeah, you just kind of drop it on him. It's so easy to try to be under him. You want to throw out those up airs. But he knows he's got big hitboxes. He can get away with, like, that air up strong. He doesn't need to be directly underneath Rocco. Oh, but how does he recover it? Exactly that. The answer is you don't. Go to your next stop if you want to get back to Ang. Smack control in the air, the ground, everywhere. Every element. Well, hold on for a, a second. Reason, but okay. I Maybe think it's like nasty. Chad is informing me we might have the names backwards. Wait, really? Wait, there's two pixels. <laughs> okay, now, okay, there was two okay. pixels. Okay, so I think. According to Chad, look, I trust Chad on this. Right. Chad's saying that Aang is Pixie. Yeah. Maybe it's the rocker, yeah. I've been getting this mixed up the whole time because of the top. That's my bad. <laughs> look, I trusted the overlay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Rocco has always been vivid. Either way, um, I ain't starting to cook right now anyway, until I just, and I'm now on the <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, you got to say something. Look, we're all over the place right now. We're trying our best. Either way, though, Pixie is up 1-0 in this set. Vivid needs to find a way back in. Okay, there's ball yet again. Intercepts him in the air. Really good intercept from from Vivid. Oh, my God. The screams at him. <laughs> Poor Spunky. This dog does not deserve that. He's such a good boy. Okay, trying to get the pogo working, but couldn't get it. Gets thwarted in the troubles, and now... Get the good edge Ooh, I like that. The classic. Those charged needles into the forward strong. It's so destructive. And honestly, I've seen Pixie and other players throughout this bracket, you fade in with those needles and just barely clip people and use that forward momentum to confirm into the S-Smash. It's, yeah, it's great. The air mobility just kind of allowed them to get those confirms in a really good window. And now Pixie, uh, with a stock deficit again, has to do something. Vivid, running away. Monkey back in the set. What can we do with this? Ooh, finally mopping the floor with him, but doesn't get the confirm off of it. It's so sad to see that after he's tried to hit that down tilt so many times. You finally get it, and just the spacing's not quite right. Pixie gets out. Yeah, that was really strong. Like edge guarding and reset the situation from Vivid again and again, but now the Pogo might bring this back to a 1-1, one -one. Uh, Lentini. Ooh. Look, I, I talked about this before. I want to see that game three, right? Give it to me. Come on, Vivid. Dig deep. Ooh, this not going to work out. But he's able to stay maybe. No, okay. I thought he was going to go for some slime, but I believed in the slime, but he didn't have any, so that makes sense. Honestly, do not count Pixie out, Lenti. It's a cliche. No around. Oh no! The one cleaning up. Here Hold we go. up! You know he's gonna go deep for it. Resetting that opportunity goes low, but that landing hitbox. No one's ready for the Ang up B landing hitbox. He's chasing him down. You can see Pixie trying to be very wary of these projectiles. Okay. This is a crucial neutral interaction. But Vivid doesn't have anything set up. Oh, but the slime dash that was so good, and now you can set up. Spunky's online. Are we gonna get the jackhammer? Doesn't even need it. Going straight for that stage control. He's trying to get him back. Uh -oh. Didn't work out. Yeah. Kick him to the curb. Oh, but those needle confirms. You can see Pixie's coming back to the game. He might be able to snatch this one away. Throwing out that down there. Trying to bait Pixie in, but Pixie is not falling for it. Gets the confirm and the up B slime cancel into the air up strong. The classic bread and butter. You said it yourself. Do not count Pixie out, and he just showed us why. So hard, by the way. Oh yeah. Okay. He really did not think it was gonna beat him. But Pixie's just another hockey. They play very. Yeah, similar. yeah. I was, I was saying that with Lenti. They play very similar. Perfect example of you can dish it, but don't know how to take it. But clearly, he does know how to take it. We're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a button warmer between these two right here. Now, hockey abuses. The, is this just a button warmer? I believe so. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so hockey pretty much just really uh, avid ultimate player. He really abuses the ultimate buttons okay. more than anything else. He, that light up air is. My humble opinion, one of the better moves in this game. Comes out very, very quick. Can combo break when it needs to. Has an active hitbox all around the yeah, actual I've seen, I've seen the arc. The arc is uh, devious. And so. gets the zero to deaths done as... Uh, it gets the zero to deaths done as fast as they necessarily need to be. It's among the most consistent ones in the game on top of Danny. I would argue even more consistent than Danny, but we've been arguing about that in the grinders court for, for a while. For right? a while <laughs> now. So which on zero to deaths are more consistent. There ain't no Danny on screen anymore, so we're gonna be focusing more on the Ang here. As opposed to Jimmy, who for 
you Ultimate fans out there, functions sort of like the illegitimate love child of Snake and Rosalina. Yeah, because I was, um, when I played Nick, I actually played a lot, a lot of Jimmy, mm -hmm. right? And I, when I found out Oh, Leviathan that's right. You were a Jimmy player. I yeah, totally yeah. forgot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were nasty when the game dropped. You got, like, what was it, like, fifth at, like, some big tournament? Yeah, I mean, that was okay. Yeah, I, I was yeah. decent at it. And then um, I, I'd, I'd never heard of Senpak before, mm -hmm. but I was a big fan of Leviathan. And I was watching a lot of his gameplay. I'm trying to understand what the character can do, uh, you know, because, you know, further than what I, I can do. Then I watched Senpak play. He plays super different to Leviathan. Um, very heavy, not so much on the bubble stuff that I've seen with the downstroke in the air, uh, but more so on using Godin's Bite. I've noticed he uses that a lot. Uh, and it's very interesting in how he explores with it. So I want to see how he, uh, he matches up with, with Aang, because I don't know, that matchup's always been hard. But Senpak is way more about, like, the ping pong combos, sure. I should say. The sure. kind of stuff that the devs were like, this is so cool, look what you can do with Goddard. <laughs> Leviathan, the first time I ever played him, I remember he likes to use Goddard more in like, like the beef. Yeah. He likes to put, it's a stupid trick he does. <laughs> he likes to put Goddard, I'll put it like right above, like look at my hand as opposed to like my actual like tag below me. He likes to put Goddard this high above the stage right. and just drop him. Because it creates an active mid box when there's barely any room to I actually see. move. Senpak on the other hand, Senpeasy, as we call him. Right. He doesn't do that as much. He likes to use Goddard more in the traditional sense. Put him out here. Goddard's controlling this zone right now. I want my opponent to go to Goddard and be distracted by him so I can come in for the punch. Hydrant esque, right? If you want to keep mm. it on the on different games, I get you. For the ping pong combos, yeah. Whereas Leviathan likes to use him way more in the CQC. He likes to be more aggro with him, I suppose, as well as just using his bite way more on top of that. So. Jimmy Neutron, a character that we like, we really slept on for the longest time. I will never forget because me and I was saying it. Me and Senpak go pretty tit for tat in terms of our sure. sets, and there were times where he beat me three times in a row. I got mad, and <laughs> what I did is that I told him, Senpak, how is this character bad? Can you just be honest with me? Right. And he told me, like Natunis, I'm going to tell you a secret. He's not. <laughs> I mean, I think that in, in the previous patches there were things, some very, uh, as Jimmy Pez said, some very frustrating things that Jimmy had. Uh, that did get buffed. I think there was some some weird things that were going on with with how he plays that kind of put me off from playing the game anymore. But I feel like the, the better Jimmy players will always find something. You know what I mean? And they'll show why he can be good a good character. Yeah. Uh, I said when when the bugs of Jimmy get fixed, his character's godlike. Oh yeah. And uh, I don't know if they've all been fixed. I don't. Know, I'm up to date for sure. But Leviathan and Senpak make his character look so sick. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm always, you know, a fan of watching them play. It is worth noting as well that once you actually are able, find, uh, finally able to navigate the well. insane obstacle course that is Jimmy's neutral yeah. with the rocket, with Goddard, with the bubble and everything, that he is one of the heaviest characters yes. in this entire game. Yes. A lot of stuff in that book bag. There's a Jimmy. big old brain <laughs> uh, right here at the top. He lives, he used to live even more consistently to like something like 200. It was absurd back then. But Jimmy, being one of the best, uh, don't don't get excited for Squidward. He's just hovering. That is absolutely not a hockey character in any regard. We're getting crabs. He oh. does have a crabs and he does have a Zuko. Okay. Oh no, he's just being He's just being something else. I right have now. I actually okay. have not seen Zuko gameplay yet. Yeah, it's too early to tell necessarily sure. how good he is yet. Some we He's not legal, right? Here? Is he legal at Gumball? I think so. Okay. But the general consensus right now, we don't think he's too good, Fair. really. Like, he can do the thing where he drops his sword, but, like, some of his combos just feel really slow. He might get some buffs in the next patch, depending on what we see. But he does play Zuko. Hockey did want, like, Zuko to be, like, his soul main, and he was getting a little frustrated as to not be able to really click with him necessarily. <laughs> I mean, we told him not to give up, but at the same time, with the way that Aang just currently is, you really don't have to. You know what I mean? Like, Aang just being... Borderline the best, if not one of the best characters in the game, like easily. He doesn't have too much of a reason to play Zuko for any like secondary matchups or anything. Mm -hmm. It's not like me like needing like to whip out Danny, like because Ember is not Ember is good, but she's you know not one of the better She's not one of the best characters, yeah. I get you. Senpak, on the other hand, though, I have never seen him touch another character as long as this game lives. This is a specialist. I feel yeah, me. I feel like any person that plays Jimmy in this game, well, most people will just be like, I'm playing Jimmy only. Like when I played this game, I was Jimmy only. I didn't oh, care yeah. about anybody else. I'm uh, the same with Ember, you know, like did you just this game you'll just pick a character and you'll really like Ember's like Ember's one of my favorite plat fighter characters that I've ever played in any She's game ever. Cool. I really want to do it with her. Right. It's just, you know, SpongeBob matchup, whatever. You know how it goes. <laughs> so I understand that sentiment entirely with uh with uh saying the same thing with Jimmy and Mikuruano Miku Hermano here in uh Senpak. We're both Cuban. We we popped off about that okay. in, the, in the Discord when we both found that out. He's one of those guys. He's out here doing it, but Jimmy, I've watched how much better this player has gotten. I remember the first time I ever played him, he's like, oh, so that's what a good Ember, uh, that's what a good Ember is. 
that he beat me three times in a row. <laughs> like immediately after that, I'm like, I mean, he was the kind of player, statement. the kind of player where I played him for the first time, sure. got my W, and I told myself, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is how it's gonna I'm be. I'm never beating this guy. Yeah, again. this is how it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you, you know how it goes, truly, as we're uh, slowly but surely trying Mega. to get this set up for you guys right now. I think I just finally might have heard the character selection as we're going on here, but. What is this in front of me? If I could talk about this for a minute. Oh. Am I allowed to talk about this for a minute? Oh, bro. Am I supposed to talk about this for a minute? I think you should. I think I'm supposed to talk about it. We got Focus Fuel, gummy caffeine with 100 milligrams of caffeine. I like that a lot, personally, because that's not too much and too little. It's about 80 milligrams of caffeine, I should say. That ruptures about six hours of caffeine worth mm -hmm. it. Gamers usually do way more than that, but some people don't like to go too much over the edge. If you want that good old Focus Fuel, you're not too much of a coffee person or energy drink. Focus Fuel is the, one of the proud sponsors of this event for you here. We got a couple of different flavors too. A electric watermelon. We got yes, we got, it's always, a, it's always electric thing. Keep your energy yeah. flowing for a reason. We've got watermelon here, blue raspberry lemonade. Fruit punch. Uh, some crazy flavors uh, either way, but it's just a cool way to, to, you know, to give you a good burst of energy. That's like important. For people that don't like coffee or energy drinks, i.e. me, I don't drink any of that, uh, why not have a little uh, uh, gummy to go with it and you know, get a lot of energy for it. Either way, what's cool about it is that don't take all at once. I'm going to keep saying this to you guys. Do not take all of them at once. You will blow up. You'll be bouncing all around <laughs> that planet. <laughs> want to take at least like one and then go from there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But of course, it is a good way to keep energy. Uh, and, you know, even in an adult way, even if you want to feel like a kid again. And speaking of kids, uh, you know, shout-outs to Kid Phone, uh, you know, for the youth, the Kids Help Phone. Mm. Uh, really good uh, helping on the mental health of, of kids all around Canada. It's been going on for 35 years now. Uh, that's a long-ass time. Uh, you're not kid no more if you've been there from the start. Uh, so shout-outs to them. Uh, been doing it for a, a long time. And you can, you can always feel help all around Canada, all around the world. Uh, and it's always good for you know, kids all around. So. Right, right. Yeah, honestly, that's the kind of sponsor that I would love to see. Hey. If you or if you know a child who's struggling Jimmy. or you are one who's struggling, do not hesitate Three, to call the number that two, I don't have memorized one. at 1-800-668-6868 anytime and anywhere from anywhere in Canada. And I think we finally have it. Right. Top four going us for us right now. Winners finals, we are officially in best of five territory as we get ourselves another hand warmer between these two players. Uh, I know a button check when I see one. I saw these two wave. Yo, no, 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 I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. I saw they, they were giving me the hand gestures like the button check. Don't start talking. Yeah, don't you start talking about, about Jimmy. Uh, you want to speak about kids? I know it. You got the kid alone, bro. Jimmy. Uh, these oh. are two of the kids for exactly, sure. Exactly, the kid wanderer, the avatar. Two of the kids of all time for sure. Yeah. Pause. All right, just getting ourselves a button check, finally feeling it out. I do believe Senpac, you're going you're to love this. Take a guess at what controller he uses. Because I guarantee you'll be wrong. Okay, so I was thinking game controller, but since, Three, you, since no. you're saying it like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like one. Xbox 360. Nope. Don't. Right, you get one more. I get one you more? Get one more guess. I'm just going to go for the Positions. pro controller. Eight bit. Dude. I don't even know what that is. You know, those, you ever see those like sort of a Super Nintendo looking controllers in the Best Buys? <laughs> yes. He uses those. Those ones for both that are designed both for PC and Switch. And he's out here destroying kids with it. Rain Blast for a reason. That's crazy. The Guano Hermano out here, ladies and gentlemen. And Senpak, fortunately, at the very least, against Aang, he has the best recovery in the game. Yeah. Among the best in that, uh, in that, uh, what's it, the hover card, which he can jump out of as yep. well as get a lot of distance and slime cancel to get an even bigger jump out of it. None of that's going to matter, though, as Hockey getting a borderline zero to death to start out our first best of five set of the evening for you all. Yeah, I can't really get too much off it. The post's not working. Now, you're going to get up there in the air the up jump too. Oh, yeah, we're getting juggled all over uh, in two this way. Is oh, Jimmy God. supposed to go? If, the thing is, if he landed that slime dash, that was also going to be a dead Jimmy on top of that. At the very least, Jimmy, you know, I mentioned it before, before the match started, he being one of the heaviest characters in the game, difficult to navigate around the obstacle course. When you have that light up air in your arsenal, not only is it way easier and more consistent to be able to do that, the weight is also kind of negated because Jimmy is one of this game's two fastballers yep. on top of that. So the combo food potential is there and prime for Hockey to be able to get once he's in. It's going to all be on Senpak to see how he can play that sort of a hybrid snake Rosalina play to keep a character like hang out, but that's the name of the game. And I'll tell you right now, Pat, it's, it's hard. Double toast into double air up strong. That was good. And okay, the got it spike. Look, good DI uh, from Hockey trying to go away from it. Doesn't want to get anywhere near the Senpak beast right now. The Jimmy starts to more and more. I feel like Senpak's coming alive more into the set. But it doesn't really matter when Hockey is so clear right now. Oh, yeah. It's easy pickings with Jimmy off stage if you're able to get that forward air. It's not something you can say with too many other characters in this game. And of course, this has both that on and off stage presence. And when you have a good off stage presence against Jimmy, 
that you can exploit him for, you've got to be able to do that because, like I mentioned, most characters in this game, it's an incredibly unsafe risk to be able to go off stage against Jimmy like that. If you're trying to ledge trap him, that uh, sword move that he has, well, both forward and the back air is frame six, I believe. Yeah. You never want to mess with Jimmy on the ledge for that. You can just drop ledge, double jump, get that sword out for you, and it's better to regain stage control. But Ang, of course, doesn't care about any of that, man, as he's going out here with a potential four stock. You've been bigging up your Hamano so much, if I'm going to be real, like, it looks like Hoki is the Don Dada right now. This man's the popper at the moment, taking control. Okay, that's one stock for, for one. Hoki, losing one. He is human, apparently. I don't know how much big brains matter if you're fighting against the Avatar, not the Avatar state, baby. And now we got Senpak fighting back with the depths of hell right now. Definitely not easy to bring a uh, game of this game back if you are Jimmy. You know, he's much more like an advantage state holder, if yeah. I should say, as well as more of a, and if, what should I say here, an advantage pusher, rather than one to try to like, I don't know, try to like force a disadvantage. He's way much better in the other state than it is in the other one, but none of this seems to be mattering against the Avatar state right now as those needles into the F-Strong. But the uh, forward air not coming out, Goddard coming in clutch for the hometown hero and Jimmy right now. Yeah, I like that switch up uh, from Senpak to kind of keep control of Goddard while he's up being okay. The pivot, or the grab, let's say, maybe a bit too greedy, and uh, Hockey gonna take advantage of that and keep that first game locked in his pocket. Dominating first game, man. Absolutely. He did a beautiful job, like, keeping that good, solid, like, mid-range against Jimmy as far as avoiding his grab. Because I will say that we'll include a little bit of Pac-Man in the, uh, the love triangle between <laughs> Snake, Rosalina, and Pac-Man. Because that grab can't spot dodge it. Yes. He wants you to spot dodge it. He wants to run in thinking he's going to do, like, a dash attack, which, by the way, Jimmy players will never do. That move is not good, so don't be falling for that mix-up. Can't be spot dodging that move. Ang doesn't even really care about that when he can get off the ground with the short hop fast enough with a nasty hitbox like that. Two, like That's just another one. option I feel that Jimmy has against most of the cast that he doesn't have against the current rendition of Ang. But on Food Dreams, with a little more room to be able to work around, as well as uh, some bigger, uh, as well as some big blast zones, not as big as the vertical ones on yeah. the Jellyfish, by the way, I should mention. He might have an easier time surviving here, because if there's any downside, we'll say about Ang, he's light as hell. So if Jimmy gets that yep. light sup air, if he gets that uh, strong uh, sup air, I should say, he'll be killing Ang at some unholy percent. Oh, okay. Gonna push him off far away as he can. You can see Senpak able to cover very safely. And again, Hockey commands the neutral so well. Alright, good like sneaky up air in there. That can true confirm into the forward air right there. Now he's just trying to keep some pressure at the mid-range. That's what I'm talking about. You can't overextend against Aang from that distance. And the scary thing about that is that part of what makes him the better characters in this game is that if you try to respect that distance, you run back. He's charging needles. Yeah. He gets that, and all of a sudden, for you like, having to play the game the way you got to against Aang, all of a sudden, he's got some new fresh kill confirms out here in the depths. Double up there, okay. The oh, soft air. Man. Another one, too. Oh, man. Just washing him away, this little kid. Gonna have to do something. It's just a better version of Embers, man. That, that's really all it is, that yeah. water ball. It's a better version of Embers, carries with it, can do crazy drag down stuff with it on top of that. Once the edge guard here, nothing. Senpak, uncharacteristically, actually falling to the gap right there. Maybe he tried to whip out Goddard and just lost a little bit of situational awareness as to where he was. Oh, there you go. Okay, I like the slime cancel into the down air to get a little bounce from it. Trying to get some uh, decent exposure from the Goddard. Yeah, the ping pong mm. into the strong up and yeah. Sempeasy, as Junus would say. Peasy, shout out to Alpha Stone, first uh, the uh, best Missoula player who was calling for that. Senpak, one of our goats for sure. I just want to talk about his differences with Leviathan as a defensive opponent that started. Leviathan can do stuff like that, and he does. He likes to do it from a much closer distance. Right. Senpak takes his time. He takes his sweet time. Goes with a draw stage, long distance combos. Goddard is out. Not going to matter when you're the one at disadvantage right here. He's got a third water ball. No, actually going for the, the fire kick instead. Pretty awful. Yeah, he actually dragged him down and kind of, I think he reached, uh, Fought Senpak's DI by surprise. Good conversion from Goddard, but no kill though. Again, big back air swings kind of convert, uh, contest anything that Ang's throwing out. The post being stopped to distract, the down tilt, jumped over, and now again, Hockey Dunduna's commanding on the ledge. When you don't have a good dash attack, it's so rough to be able to deal with Hang from the mid range when he has that light up air option. So many characters can, at the very least, rush him down, or they have some better like spacing options from the mid range. And Jimmy relies a little bit more on that long game. I mean, he's got that forward air, which can be safe on block if he spaces properly. But you know, he's just Maki has just never really given him the chance. He's just been like keeping him at disadvantage this entire time, which is truly not where Jimmy thrives. Can we get one more of those? Not even Ooh. needing it. Ang dying off the top right yeah, there. Yeah, say. I'm gonna need you to do two more of those setback. Can you do that for me? Just the burn effect with the post. Wake it up. Okay. No grab for you. 
Gonna run away and get that burn uh, uh, effect. Definitely doing a lot of damage for the post. There you go. That's another good thing about Ang in the matchup, I should say. You know, Jimmy is very, very good at spacing with the app tilt. That move does wonders against a good chunk of the cast. Ang, another good benefit of him. Again, the humble mid here, as Hockey describes him as constantly. One of the best grab ranges in this entire game. Forced to use the first, knowing that that was going to be another forward error. At the very least, a strong forward error to kill Ang off the side as it potentially could have. That range is a little bit better, but, you know, it's negated with Ang with that light up air once again. But. Jimmy off stage actually sliming to make sure to get he, uh, make sure he gets a little bit more speed to go off the top. Okay. Ooh. The laser conversion. Yeah. Ooh, the spike ooh. as well. Just really, really clean uh, from Sen Pack. And now bring it once for a piece with the percent on his favor. And just a big strike <laughs> like that. Uh, you can see Hucky get uh, you know wow. emotive, shall we say. It's more circular than the than the gumball, man. I gotta tell you, like that move starts behind him, ends in front of him. The shield pushback, absolutely crazy. One of the better F strongs in this game for sure. A scary move at ledge because it reaches the low end. I, I think I failed to mention that as well. Humble mid here. He can do it all. He can do it all. He's avatar for a reason. I, I feel like you, you explained it really well in that in that game just now. Is that Jimmy lacking a burst option offensively really hurts him in this matchup? You know, with no dash attack really uh, susceptible to be of use. Uh, he's falling into a lot of traps where you know. Hockey feels so comfortable Jimmy, in the mid range, Jimmy. in the long range as well, because like, you know what? You can't really burst at me. You have to commit to something that can I can throw it away, you know, uh, very One. easily. So those long uh, ping pong combos don't matter if you literally can never set them up yep. in the first place. None of that matters. The weight doesn't matter as much when Ang got those zero to death. Those easy ones right off the top, which we haven't seen too much of yet. He's been often much more for the horizontal ones. Perhaps he's scared of, uh, perhaps Hockey is scared of misspacing it and just eating a strong up air, which will kill Ang and unholy percent off the top. But now we're at Urkin Armada Invasion. You know, ladder combos will exist here for Jimmy, but they exist here for Ang as well, so it's just going to depend on which one is going to be able to really beat him with the longer traps. I like that jumping, cancelling uh, from the up B uh, to able that forward air as well. Sword normals, like you said. Okay, the laser, watch where you're attacking. The tech chasing, the rocket is there as well to kind of thwart the way. The zoning from the up tilt as well, but can't find the good double he needs. Good up from Tempac though. Very even first stop though. Didn't commit, but he's gonna commit that time, playing the long game. Finally gets a stock lead in the set for the first time since uh, ever in the set so far, as we re-enter game number three. Now we go, there's that light up air. Double jump into the forward air for sure. Opt to get him off stage as opposed to off the top, like I mentioned earlier. Even that damage is going all the way up to 106 already. This insurance is going to be very, very important for Senpak to see how much he's gonna be able to get before he winds up eventually and <laughs> evidently losing this first stock as the time goes on. Okay. Yep, told you. Nah, that hits everything. Dude, I, I mean, you're over 100%, you grab ledge against Aang, you're just dead. That's why he's the chosen one, for a reason. Why he's the chosen one. Literal avatar, both canonically and <laughs> literally the strongest character in this game. Don't tell Hockey. <laughs> Don't tell him. I'll tell him every chance I get, you got him. Okay, there double toast. Go. Oh yeah, yeah, looking for a third one, maybe too greedy. Only wants two slices of toast number one, and we're gonna see what Hockey can do. If he can get around the rocket. Yes, he can. No toast available. Gets past the F tilt. Tries to get the needle in some sort of conversion, but Hockey uh, is kind of playing around with him. Yep. This is what I like. He's up tilting a lot more. Senpak remembering to do that. And that's. When I, when I started beating Senpak again, after like the three times he bought me, I was literally saying to myself during those sets, don't get hit by up tilt. You see how much you just got off that one? From the dash tag too, by the way. No, that was quite a lot. It has its uses. It's just not one of Jimmy's best moves if you ask the Jimmy players about it. So, oh, yeah, I, I agree. A little linear <laughs> and a little bit of lag. Oh, you already know. I forgot you played Jimmy. I forgot twice in the, in the, in the top eight block so far. My bad. But the point is, he's getting a lot more off of that. I tell myself, do not get hit by up tilt. He, it's a really good anti-air. Watch your aerial approaches against Jimmy. And now we got we got it working out in spades for Senpak. He's up tilting a lot more, getting way more damage, if not just insurance at the very least. Now he's up two holes to dodge over hockey. I'm loving the jab cancels from Senpak as well. Using the, the two blips uh, from the jab and then canceling into either a grab or looking for something else, maybe chasing him down. Hockey not exactly ready for it. Getting very overwhelmed now by Senpak's people. Like you talked about before, big brain of a character. So many things you gotta watch out for. The mental side of people like to say in other games, applying very heavily in this game too. Damn. Or I can just S strong. Why not? <laughs> right? It's pretty good. It reaches <laughs> below ledge. It's an anti air as well. Does his taxes for him. <laughs> I don't even know if Ang pays taxes, but you know, no probably, way. probably not from this time, no. 
definitely gets like a definitely gets, you can write off like Avatar, like <laughs> Avatar bonus. You can write that off to the uh, bossing set. Oh no, no, Hockey starts to you do can't something die right here. now. Not with only 16% of insurance off that respawn. You gotta get more damage. Don't that give this kid momentum. Oh, you can see Ooh, looking for something. Up. That was supposed to be an upbeat. Up right. Slime cancel, guaranteed. The down B chase with the wind ball. Okay, looking for Death Run again. Senpak not giving it to him. They're both scrambling at the ledge. Watch for the teeters. That actually gonna die to the F strong there. Burst was online, but Zenpak either not ready or not willing to use it. And now he's might look it's looking like he might need it a little oh bit sooner God. rather than later. Gotta get back on stage now. This is not where you want to be against A. Yeah, Senpak was starting to bleed. Okay, gets the toast, the sweet spot as well. Oh, and the Goddard laser just for measure. Why not? Get another pew. Oh, going for the explosion instead. I never see Senpak do that. Oh God, force to go off level. Must he eat another light up air and just get combo off the side? Light up air. Why? He's actually he's actually not gonna live another one of those up tilts, I don't think. Okay, they've got an explosion. Miyaki ready for the uh, angle where he's gonna be sent. You can see Ang chasing him. Hockey wants something on the platform, starting underneath. Saving this burst. Oh my god. Saving this burst. Okay. The back here of the Ashton and it gets away from it. No. Jimmy has to burn the level two. Great option from Senpak. Nearly gets covered, but Jimmy still with the ping pong combos. No kill on Interior. Interior's getting close. Told you he wasn't going to live another one of those light up tilts. And there we go. Sen PZ having to fight for it hard, but barely able to clutch against hockey give himself another lease on life to stay in the winner's side of the bracket and potentially securing grand finals God on damn. winner's side. He, he made him work for that. Yeah, absolutely. He, he had to weather the storm. Uh, and it was the storm was definitely brewing into oh, his yeah. ability. And he didn't die a percent that I thought that Ang should. I don't know if that's more of a testament to the DI of a uh, hockey, a Jigglypuff player in Smash Ultimate. After he plays. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, he loves his light characters, fair enough. Loves his light characters, so you best believe this guy knows how to DI, or at the very least, he's doing Okay, gets past the toes. We've got double sword, though. The forward are coming out strong. This is not normally a 10 pack stage, really, which is why I kind of understand that Hockey decided to take him here. But as far as not banning it, you know, Jimmy is way heavier than Hank, so as far as the small flash zones will go, he's going to live way longer than he will. Ooh, just can't get the conversion from the up special into the, uh, the super affair. Ooh, okay, back air swing. The rocket yet getting sent into the loop. Gonna see where we can avoid it. The bubble stage spike. Very unconventional, but that's Jimmy in a nutshell. He never goes for that. He doesn't use the bubble like that. If you have any ranged option in this game, much like um, Ember Air or moves like that that have like a circular bubble around you, a ranged option can actually beat it out if you space it properly. Aang definitely's got that, but not off stage where he's not prepared for it. No tech, and the, unfortunately he ran out of gas yep. in the uh, hover car right there. Not gonna be able to make it back in sent back. Only 60% of insurance, about a dead even game that we got right here fast, but sent back, it's looking like he's discovering himself a little bit in the set so far. He's definitely playing a little bit more solid. Every day. Yeah, for sure, but at the same time, I think his defense options are getting snuffed out as the set's going on. I'm seeing a lot more spot dodges from now compared to the first two games. I think hockey's kind of understanding. You know what? He is a little bit scared now. We'll be through his ang for a reason, but okay, up tilt. It's the light up pairs, the up strong. Up B conversion. Oh my god, Sam Peasy for a damn reason. It's easy, baby. It's disgusting, man. The fact that, beyond the fact that it also assists in the hover card being one of the best recoveries, not only distance wise, but the fact that he can jump out of it like that, yeah. the kill confirmed it creates off of the top with that uh, insane nuts. sub air that kills it on only percent, as well as being able to slime cancel it, slime enhance it to make it go even faster in between. Jimmy's got all sorts of options. Let's see be able to get a player like uh, Hockey and a character like Aang in disadvantage. Which I don't know what changed, Fabs, but it's looking like he's finally doing the oh whole dodging the F strong. Yo, he's, he's locked in. Walls of steel on this kid for sure. Okay, gets the F tilt, gets the out of the way of it. And now you can see Hockey getting very aggressive in the air. Another F strong, another one. You know what? A third one. Can I get a fourth? Why not? Just throwing him out there. There's no reason not to. There is no reason not to. <laughs> Let me see it again, Hockey. Let me see it again. <laughs> Show me again, Hockey! <laughs> At the very least, Jimmy's F tilt does outrange it. It's another good thing about Jimmy, the fact that he actually has a move that can outrange that. This this last this game four might be a body bag right here with the way that set back is playing. Depending on how much insurance he's gonna be able to get on the stock. Look at the love damage. The attack. Slime cancel right there. 42% of insurance on a whole second stock. That's Absolutely. pretty good. That's like state farm insurance right there or whatever. Or whatever, like. Whatever insurance that you got. <laughs> okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever company Jimmy's dad worked for. He sells like cars or whatever. The Wimble getting out of the way, looking for the grab against grab himself. Very ironic. Now the body is out. The dog. Man's best friend doing his job. Okay, the up tilt. Going for the up B conversion. Maybe a mistake. 
on the miss input, and hockey is starting to get back in there. The upbeat conversion, Mintunist, and it's looking a little bit bleak. Avatar State, we locked in now. Uh, 87%. This is almost kill percent for Aang. One up tilt can confirm into a sub air at this percent. With the lower blast zones and rooftop, uh, or at the very least, the small stature of this stage, it can definitely do some pretty good work. Oh, Another not an grab. Got the it. laser. Got it. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to go for the drop. Finish. Oh my god, we got a game five. I never see him do that. It's I time. never see him do those bubble cancels off the level like that. Zenpak's feeling himself. I think Zenpak's feeling himself. Oh man, this this will be an upset. I don't. I think Zenpak has beaten him before, if I'm not mistaken. But the set count, I do believe, is firmly. Very. In yeah, I, I can see why from the first two games. I can see why, but Zenpak, he's been feeling it today for a different reason. He's in his home country. Doing it big for the Canadians. You can see if you can do it big for the world, for all the Jimmies. Uh -oh. oh my God, but hockey shutting me, shutting Sampezi, and shutting Intunis all the hell up. It's hockey's time, apparently. Barely taking any percent. Lord Jesus. He can just do that, man. He can just do that. Oh man, can we get Marcel a fourth somewhere? No, going for the S-Bear instead. You're dead again. Oh, actually, he hit on the left side of him. Thank God for sent pack. That, because that definitely would have been another zero death again. Hockey ran this right back for a reason. Okay, another F strong. Why uh, not? I'm telling you. Look at that. We're only taking 40% of two slots have been taken. Such an anticlimactic finish. But it's not over yet. Meridian resident out here in Canada. His first time in the country as well. Out here trying to take out the hometown hero, and he's up two stocks on his way to doing it. And can we potentially get a third off of these two light up airs? Dash attack, just gonna dash right back out. And it could have gone for a grab, but the up tilt does a lot for him as well. Oh man, you see what I'm saying? He's got time after that air dodge at that low of a height to be able to get light up air out as well. In situations where characters should not normally be able to still be the aggressor and keep you at disadvantage, Ang comes in clutch for hockey. Just oh, the, man. denies the rules of the game, right? Okay, again, charging the F strong, can't find it. You can see him looking for the, the short hop aerial needles. He's trying to go for a slide dash, he didn't have any meter. It's gonna be a slide dash somewhere. Looking like he's not gonna need it right there. Finally gonna be able to take the stock, but it's been too little too late for sent pack. Off the level we go. Forced to use the double jump, doesn't want to sink too low but low. I like the down to punish from the F strong whiff, but it doesn't really matter though. It, the, the light up air doesn't even care about the slime cancel, man. Easily one of the best moves in this game, and hockey is going to be abusing that for as long as this game allows him. Percent pack, nothing true at that low of a percent on the platform. Hockey holding down like a true platform fighter player, and it's looking like we might potentially have ourselves another zero to death again. Let's see what's the grab, and he does. Okay, got to be an out. The bubble getting thwarted, and there's the uh, aerial up strong. Sub pass, shall we say. Up, you're gonna push him away. More edge guarding. Gotta watch out on the gas in the tank. Haven't got too much to work with. Gordon trying to intercept it. There's the bubble as well. Senpak doing all he can, all the resources to get rid of the stock. Oh, you are cheap. You're feeling yourself a little too. That was way after the roll. On top of that, that was way after the roll. Like, I understand feeling yourself, but you're gonna lose this stock board. And quite frankly, you deserve it. Hockey, my goodness. Zenpak now potentially with a second lease on life if he's able to take an early stock here. This would be an insane, insane. comeback. Would be insane, of course. Hockey did pop up a little bit, but he's gonna pop up even more if he can find this stock. No Godded Spike. Looking for the edge guard. Another up special coming out. Godded interrupting him, though. Up tilts. Just barely misspacing that jab right there. I see what he was going for. He had the idea. Now forced to back off again. Let's eat another up air. Ghost barely gonna glitch there. Hold on. Look at the rocket right now. Oh, just gets past the down strong. Yeah. That was just a couple of frames off, by the way. He was over 100%. You knew that was gonna last a yeah. little longer. And you can hear that pop up from behind here right now, as well as the boys behind him, as well as his mom popping off for hockey right here. Um, Getting through. Never that, I, I did not even know he had a Garfield. We are not going to see the, the SpongeBob. Oh, uh, the actual let's Okay, say. fortunately, I play Garfield. Okay. I actually do play a bit of Garfield myself. He's my really crappy tertiary. <laughs> no enough. reason to whip him out in bracket when I got Danny, respectfully, I mean, when I got Ember. But Garfield. Insanely fun character, kind of like a hybrid of like the space animals in this game. And the fact that he has both foxes and Falco counters, Scary. as well as a lot of wolf normals as well. How you got two drills? Like he's got two drills, 
And it's a really, really scary thing. And especially with the first drill, it doesn't combo in the way that like uh, traditional like space animals does. With the fact that you know, just below him, then you do a giant or whatever, it launches him off. Yeah. So you can get another one immediately afterwards. But none of that is going to matter because we already got ourselves a quick zero to death on this Garfield. Coming out from Revelo real quick. And can I just say before I finish my overly long drift here, my Love sentence. Him. Do not take SpongeBob to this stage. <laughs> I, I think Pixie is crazy for that front. Mini Mario combos with the up airs as well as that up that finishes into the stuff air. Yeah. These platforms do nothing but assist that. I think Pixie is crazy for letting him here. You know, some, you know something we don't learn with the Garfield as well. Uh, just saying, no, just throwing out the F strong. Maybe he's like, you know what? Have a first game on me. Maybe he lost the bet. <laughs> I mean, it very well could be. It's just like they might have like done a side bet in the crowd or something. Cause that back air is definitely going to do it with full meter on the part of the Swag Messiah right now in Revelo. Lasagna off air, pretty active hitbox. Nothing is coming down from SpongeBob right there. Beautiful trip on the way in. This used to be a much more common character than he used to be with Cake Assault. Oh, I yeah. believe playing this character. Yeah. And also earlier on in the game's meta, we thought Garfield was way better than he actually was. And, and he was because Sugar Rush, you know, was broken. And Crazy. Had to the move for a little while. <laughs> but the character, despite not being played as often anymore, still very, very solid and very impressive once he's in. And that's up air, not even going for the up air that time around. He's, they definitely did a bet because right there he could have killed him off of an up e slime cancel up air. He's saving it for the super. Right. He wants to use it. <laughs> They'll do it. Connor J did it against me in bracket the other week. They will do it just to swag. Oh, God. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> that. I've never seen the I've never seen the um the Pixie Gang Stereo Garf before. And it's looking like we might not see it. Yeah, again. I don't think you're gonna see that thing ever again. At the very least, maybe not in this set. This is I thought that was gonna be a down air. Back air? Still not doing it against SpongeBob. Oh god. That's scared. Yeah, I'm not surprised, bro. So bad. I think he's really he wants for it. it so bad! <laughs> no! Oh okay. okay. Right. Wait, he took a stop. Take those, as everyone likes to say. Yeah, you know, he just was a little too low. I thought he was just going to do a drop zone now. Uh, how much he was saving the uh, burst right there. There's the grab. Could be a sub air. Oh, actually, the eye down and away to ensure that's not going to be able to happen right now. Yep. Garfield. A little bit of a second lease on life. This is a hell of a lead for a character that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's a hell of a lead for a character that pretty much has to interact, like Garfield, to be able to bring back against another character who thrives off of interactions, as well as breaking out of combos with his superior frame data in SpongeBob. He has the pies at least to maintain long distance, but they didn't really see him. I, I, I was going to say, I didn't see a, a single projectile thrown uh, from Pixie. Oh, well, no pie. You neutron, where you at? Garfield! Not the game. SpongeBob! Not the game no more. Staying on Garfield, though. No angle. Two, so. One. Okay. This is interesting. Maybe he's just. Maybe he felt like the stream has seen enough of Aang, and he's doing it for the people. Maybe he just doesn't feel like it. Maybe he just thinks this matchup is better or something, which knowing what Aang is in this game, I would be shocked to see that that's the truth. And again, you have to forgive me. This is the first time I have ever seen the Pixie Gang uh, stereo Garfield in my life. So right now, at least rocking it to the home field advantage right here in Crew Dreams with Garfield's stage, which ironically, I actually don't think it's one of his better stages because I think Garfield strives way better like with his like his frame data. He's sort of like a hybrid spacey, if you would, likes to alpha do with those buttons. Except right now, he's doing it against a character like SpongeBob, who might be one of the few characters in this game with better frame data than him. So, I was going to say, SpongeBob frame data is like a second to kind of like no one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. Otherwise, I don't see why Garfield would necessarily go here, but okay. Just giving freebies, why not? All right. Sugar Rush, I'm hungry. See how much he can get off it, the increased knockback. That's the scary thing. It's sort of a double-edged sword when it comes to Sugar Rush right there. Yeah, you, you're fast as hell. You're going to do a lot of damage if you're able to keep those uh, combos. You got like little... Um, Sort of like ping pong bubble combos that you can do by fast falling the up air so it combos way more consistently. Yeah. But you not only will die way faster, as you saw right there, because of the increased knockback gain, dash attack, which is a huge burst option for Garfield that he gets a lot of damage on. If you miss face it with Sugar Rush, he slides off ledge. Wow. And I fast falls. I did not know that. Yeah, it's not good. And speaking of not good, there's that uh, jellyfish net out here. Gonna take out. Uh, gonna take out this Pixie Gang stereo real quick into Garfield. Sugar Rush still on deck though. This is where you gotta make your moments count. Yeah, once you got low percent, you're not gonna die to anything actually. So this is kind of the time where you wanna where you wanna kind of pop the Sugar Rush, kind of get your combos flowing. But at the moment, it just seems to be Gang uh, Gang Stereo getting combined all over the damn dream. Double there. Good 
drift on the way, uh, good drift away on the part of Revelo. Not gonna get too much off of that. You really gotta try to keep your combo tight and quick with Garfield. Thanks, base animal, except instead of animals, it's cats. Because, like, instead it's Tigre and Garfield, basically, that they decided to make, like, the space animals. Why not? Game. Space cats, that's what we're going with. Funny cats, as uh, one of my uh, hometown heroes back in Jersey would call them. But, uh, yeah, there's the uppie, paving the way back. I trying to cover the space, but the down strong, nothing doing. Black and Daya out here doing a really good job holding down the stage neutral, and another stock being taken by Replo. Just making, making it really hard for Pixie Gang Stereo to get in. Uh-oh. I love the pose Garfield makes. When he's just like standing in Sugar Rush, <laughs> he goes crazy like that. Aesthetically, he's one of the best design characters in this game. They put so much love in it. Scratches come out, the clothes come out. Kitty is down here to play as well, but still, Doofy Gubernez are just going to be the ones kind of stopping me in your tracks. Deck, holding his way back in, dash attacking away, at the very least it's a good burst option to get away, I should say, or like a good retreating option, you know. That's definitely the proper term. I'm liking the landing Naz uh, from both these players, kind of understanding the little combo tools out. Barely able to get the shield out in time. Yeah, I, I just feel like right now Revelo is just sort of like out Garfield in Garfield, because like these two characters are... They're not similar in terms of how they play, but they're similar in terms of their strength. Yeah. They both have good frame data. They're both like very like deep the beat characters. They love to rush you down, especially Garfield with that sugar rush. But you know, one of the reasons that some characters are like you know not as fast like Moose or Movement can struggle against characters like SpongeBob is because his frame data is just so good. Moose come out so fast, easy combos, and when you take that away from Garfield or you do that against him better, it's like what's a what's a cat to do? What do you really do? At the very least, it's not Monday. You would have gotten bodied even harder. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're sticking with the Garf the whole time. I couldn't it back. Wow, I, I, this is really not what I was expecting to see at all. But, you know, Maybe whatever. when they've played in friendlies or something, it's one really bad as an act. I don't know. Maybe they went to each other and, like, he was rocking with the Garfield and Revelo was just like, Pixie. The Garfield is literally dog water. It's not even good. Yo, I'll beat you with Bracken. I'll take it out with Bracken. I want to play Egg and I'll beat you. Yo, bet! And then they just shook. And, and then they just shook, that's it. That's it, yeah. We have, we've all had those gamer moments. Honestly, the, the second game was going was going better for Pixie, it but this, the, the first in this game right now are looking awful. Well, I understand it. I mean, like, you know, SpongeBob sort of can out Garfield, Garfield in those regards, so if that's the problem, instead of going to a smaller stage, which Garfield can normally like, I'll take you to the big one. Yep. And maybe I'll just be able to outmaneuver you instead, which Garfield, I will say, he does have better burst options in the dash attack than I will say SpongeBob does. I mean, SpongeBob has the side B, but, you know, I don't think that has, that doesn't got no heavy armor, or like super armor or something like that that we saw it back in the original. You can't hit that, you can't beat out that move with a strong attack. Oh my god, the trade, never yeah. going to be in Pixie's favor. Revelo playing like he wants at least top three in this bracket, and this combo will spell that out again. There's the strong bear into the regrab. Second to none out as far as any nasty player I've ever played at landing that combo, as well as their tech chases, like that one right there. Yep. Re, re upping again and again, then Revelo. It's one of the reasons I've struggled so much against this guy. One of the reasons I had to switch to that, you know, that broken ish. <laughs> Dan didn't try to be able to do anything against him, because God knows Ember, that big ice sword, couldn't do no swinging. But Garfield can put in a little bit of work. It's just like You little run. fast. Sugar run, yeah, you can go fast. It's like the opposite of what he's known for as a character. Right. But, you know. It's a lazy ass guy. <laughs> cat. Somehow he's in a couple of pies and suddenly he's, you know, he's down to do anything. Down to clown. You neutron, where are you at? Real. Ducks. Okay. Well, no forward spike into re-grab combo. Uh, but still can get another up throw go. And again, there's a spike. Off the up tilt into the, oh my god. Yo. There was no burst either. He actually got burst after the hit, but that can be a little hard to react to if you're not paying attention to the meter as opposed to your actual survival DI. Sure. One of, I guess, the only downsides really of having like meter in your platform fighter if that's your thing. Sugar Rush immediately spawning in with that. Leading in there for it though. Turns Garfield into a bit of a fastballer, kind of like Rage with Squidward. He's already 47%, 57 tacking on, and 52. Looking like this Sugar Rush is, uh, Part way more on the part of SpongeBob right here instead. It's just Packer once again. He's ping ponging combos to himself. That this is looking like it might be a GG's and a handshake. Yeah, I feel like uh, Revelo is just running all around him. Yeah. Um, trying to get the end guard there. Yeah. Right? yeah. Pixie Stereo one. It's, it's ignore the. Ignore yeah, it's, the it's, it's, it's too well. Too well right now on the part of Revelo. Yeah. Right, this is the way.
way faster pace. I thought for sure one thing Garfield players could do is that they could do um uppy like the angled uppy that he has, slime cancel it, yeah. and you can get a uh, stuff air off okay. that actually if you want to like just quickly beat your opponent to the top of the blast zone. A little bit risk. It, there's not too much risk to either really as there is to that uppy instead. Speaking of no risk. That's Revelo with a clean 3-0 on the part of uh, Pixie Gang Stereo right there. That is, never saw no up slam cancels on the part of Garfield. It's a good option, I swear. I'm one of them. I'm like the worst Garfield in the world, but I'm <laughs> telling you it works sometimes. But it's not going to matter with a clean 30, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, he did. Yeah, they're getting up. They're getting up. Kind of That's bad. That's one thing I'll give I used the uh, used super in my life. Big that's fan of that. One thing I'll give rivals for sure is the fact that they own those characters completely. I think that's why they can make their fur different colors completely. Yeah. There's no like red SpongeBob mm -hmm. or anything Sponge like that. Yeah. But as far as the alternate costumes, in this Three, game, some characters. Two, one. I think some of them are incredible. And SpongeBob has more than anybody because there's the bonus one with the outfit. But neither of these guys need them. I'm rocking with the defaults. Both of these players. I'm with Jellyfish it. Field is the pick. Home field advantage for SpongeBob. I like the stage for both of these opponents. Jimmy has space to be able to work around as well as the survivability off of the top, but that platform, if that platform's not in the way, which half the time it isn't because of the way it moves, obviously, if you're watching it on screen right now, SpongeBob's got free reign to be able to do those down strong reset green grab combos. Not gonna matter if we start with a zero to death with the God and Explosion somehow feeding out the Humpy. Don't ask me to explain I don't know. to you, because I'm not gonna, because I don't know how. I th I, what I was seeing from the first set, what I noticed with Lantini is that even though, you know, all this range that, you know, uh, that Jimmy has with the projectiles, and uh, SpongeBob is quite stubby, right? Yeah. When he's off stage, though, no, no length is needed. I can just edge out with all the zoning I can. And, you know, uh, Ravello found it very hard to get back to stage. And the second pack was taking advantage of it so easily. Truly. Frame data does that frame data that you can use to break out a combo? That doesn't Ooh. matter! If we're sub air, you, you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna mash an up air from below me? Not against that sub air. I'm sitting oh easy, God. baby. That was actually almost a session. That was disgusting. I'm not gonna hold you. Ah! Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm really sorry. I, I promise you that reaction is genuine, but my God. You saying these blast zones are too big to kill off the top? I'll kill you off the side too. Send pack. Came to play, but finally losing a stock off of the back air. Okay. Trying to zone with the Goddess Laser as well, covering with the light up air and the super up air as well. Alright, bubble bolt. No slime cancel to be able to turn around and get a re Oh my god. And I'd like to just quickly point out that Jellyfish Fields has the highest vertical blast zones out of any of the legal stages of the uh, current stage list in Nasby 2. He died to it at what? Oh, did you see what percent that was? I blinked. Low percent. Oh my god. That's, that's all I know. One of the best sub airs in the game, and I know a thing or two about sub airs. Talk to a member player. Talk to a member player. I know a thing or two about good stuff airs. He's gonna have to deal with one even better if he wins this, assuming he does, but Senpak is playing like he wants that run back Absolutely. against Hockey right now. Especially with how like uh like disastrous that, that game with, with Pixie and uh Revelo just was. You know, so dominant and now it's kinda of the, the other way around. Senpak is running away with it. Lord. It's home field advantage too. That's what makes it worse. This is like Nicktoons Unite, like the dark version. Remember that game? Yeah. Anybody in the chat remember that game? It was Jimmy, SpongeBob, Timmy Turner, and Danny Phantom all together. It was like a beat em up. That game was fire. And now look, now look at them. They're just throwing hands. Rooftop the pick. I like this. No moving platform. Uh, really just consistent platform height to be able to get those three grabs as well. Three, I love that stage a lot. Two, and I will tell you right one. now, I don't like to take Revelo to it because of the way he gets those re-grabs both on and off of the platform. The tech chase is disgusting, right? Perfect height, not only for that, but as well as uh, get like up air reset on top of that. So, as well as just like less room for Jimmy to run around. It's Jimmy. Yep. You know, he likes the long range. He likes to do the ping pong Oh, jab canceling. Do that? Here, it's small. So, there you go. I love that. Yeah, the Goofy Goofy coming out. I feel like Re 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 Revelo is starting to feel it even more, okay? Go for the tech chase, guys. Try to go for the, uh, the, the Goofy Goofy in there. Call out the jump. Can't find it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's an easy ledge hog right there. A little bit slippery. And now Revelo with a decent lead. Yeah, I think he thought he was going to be able to grab it first. And I think I think Revelo thought that he thought that he was going to be able to grab it first, which is why he just went back and did it. That's uh, what we like to call the double bind game. I like that. Slime air dodge, yep, got it right there, hovering above. Watch me get going, the dog is right there. Tries to cover with the rocket, but can't find it. And now, the most swinging and hitting for the fences, but it seems to be Senpak looking for the... Oh, can't find it. No home run for you, little boy. Nothing to do on the part of Senpak being able to get that back. Oh, he almost had that so bad, but unfortunately, 
There's a stage below him, and he landed on it. Not able to get the hitbox out in time. There's that back here. That's an example of, you know, SpongeBob's frame data actually coming into play right there. You yeah. know, normally you can't hit Jimmy from there. But at the very least, you have to reset the neutral to regain stage control off the ledge trap. I'll just back air you out of that. But it's not going to matter. Simpack finally able to get that stock on. Only under 40% of insurance. This ain't that bad. This is still anybody's game. Not too bad. Revelo starts to come back. Of course, uh, God is on all the other, other right side. So, of course, Revelo wants to keep his combo on the left side. But Simpack not letting him. And we are seeing a little bit of an uh, into it, maybe? Never mind, they're gonna keep on playing on either way. A little bit of a weird interaction where they're gonna keep on swinging. You see the Goofy Goomba Nair once again. This man is dancing all over. God, and all he can do is just watch with the lasers yet again. There's a slime cancel. Oh my god, nearly getting something going. Goddard drop off of that. Actually dying to that. I thought for sure he was going to try to hold left and at least check yeah, the stage. Yeah, hold it Yeah, but nothing doing on the part of Sentak. And actually wasting a little bit of that slime right there. Accidentally slime... Uh, no, it wasn't a slime dash. So slime canceling that, but getting nothing off of Sentak. A little bit of a brain blow moment. What's the opposite of a brain blast? It's like a fart. <laughs> brain brain fart. fart? That was a Jimmy brain fart. That's full here. Uh oh, where oh, you going? Yup. Yeah. yeah, up we go to the death. Oh! Yo! Oh. No, come on, man, not like that. You had it off the top. And he's alive! Are you kidding? Still living after all of that? And I tell you, there's a lot of stuff in that backpack. There's a big brain in that head. I told you, Fab. The best part about that is that he didn't even need to go as that stuff air was gonna take the stock. There, you know, he didn't have burst online anyway, but you can't burst stuff air, uh, supers, I should say. Yep. He could have easily gone for that. He didn't have burst. He could have gone for like the uppy stuff air slime cancel instead. He just wanted to style. He lands it and he loses the stock first because of it. There's a reason why greed is a sin in Tunis. And I feel like Sempak is making this little man repent right now. If Revelo loses this game because of landing a super and having Jimmy not die for it. I swear to God. You just can't make it up. But okay, Revelo. Having himself down, back into the set. Game is not over yet. I'm just saying setback. I didn't let him hit me with that. <laughs> I, 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 didn't let, I didn't let him hit me with that setback. Oh, weak hit. Weak hit, not going to kill off the top right there. You got the uh, the arm rotor instead of the fist. Oh, got an explosion That's into the super bell. Oh, my God. It's too easy. It's it's sent peasy easy. It's too sent peasy. It's too sent easy. Goddard, he's got to cough real quick. Yeah, he's got to let some that out. You, you don't want to let that sit in your lungs like that. That's not, not, not rushing, though. Reveler Reed leaves on the stage is the answer. Because it's not on the stage, but it's on me. I respect it. I love that. When they say it's on me, I know how to adapt. And I got to say, in the last set, he did that. And he uh, wound up doing some pretty good work. Or the hockey did that against Senpak, taking him back here again. Yep. And actually did defeat him very solidly in that game five after uh, Senpak winning game number four. So we're looking to see if he's going to be able to be a repeat of hockey right here or if Send pack is just gonna allow us to very quickly move on. Oh god, so winners. Oh, I, are like the grand final. That was really good to understand the DI out. So he didn't go for Super and went for the toast instead. Couldn't get the coverage though. I had no idea that Jimmy could do that icicle move in between the hits of one boss grabs. Yes. That's kind of huge. I, that, that's like a strong move. I, I didn't know that could even work that way. Alright. Big damage off of this, only gonna get a back here for it. Jabbing off of the platform. Ooh! I thought for sure that was gonna be a slime shield right there and a roll instead on top of that, but instead he's just gonna roll. I thought that was a way more linear option, but Zenpak clearly knowing something I don't, he took the stock off of it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, you have to watch out where you're going. Get a throw straight from the back here, let him come and charge, can't find it, avoids the rocket, avoids the up air, got it on that right side, sitting pretty, waiting to be activated. I didn't know slime cancel was uh, slime dash was necessary there, but it was uh, pretty low height. It was very awkward height to be able to try to get a second goal in there right there. Frame six move, I believe. You can't mess around with that by the ledge above anything else. And so far, Revelo hasn't really been doing that, but it's not stopping him from getting absolutely ping ponged and juggled here to the next dimension. Canceling the jab and just sent and dashing all the way back to the back right there to just keep that good mid range that you want against SpongeBob with all the good options that Jimmy has in that. It is jab, F tilt, dare I say, even both of his uh, both of his down tilt moves. And then back, playing like he wants to win. Yeah, he's gonna avoid something. Yep, yeah, the way the jab, but the grab is waiting there. Like you said, the active hitbox. No spot dodging, no dodging available. Okay, the reset from Revelo, something. Damage is building, but got a good push away. So Jimmy's able to recover back to stage. Very smart from Senpai. 
Not safe on block, but sent back, apparently. Up we go. We have the toast. Still surviving, though. The burn damage is applying. How are you? I just use it. Yep, I was just going to say, go for it. Actually, cool. I like actually going for the S bear instead of the, uh, the, uh, the sub bear instead, because he tried to mix up his DI. It's Jimmy, though, so he's going to be living for a long time because of that. I thought for sure that we were going to go for a roof combo on rooftop right here, but nothing doing. It's the kind of stuff you really need if you're in this position as the Swag Messiah right now in Revelo, but instead he's going to die for this. Not even using the burst. I feel like he said, you know, I was dead either way. Yeah, and all these juggles are shocking underneath with the light up air. Nah. <laughs> Spring moves. The fact that he can just do that. He's going to sit here. He's going to wait. Up we go. The you ever done that? You've done that to someone? Have you done this to someone? I think I have. There's okay. a reason why Senpak's different. Right, this is good, though. Light up air. Not good in here. Don't hands with Garfield. Like it was a bar fight or something. Ugh. Finally gonna get the down strong. Okay. He's almost got full meter on deck though, so you can count uh, uh you can count Revelo out for this, but I will say on a part of the reset combo that he has, if he's able to get that while keeping his as much of his meter as he can, there's a chance he'll still have burst on line for when he needs it, but this is a full fresh stock we're talking about. He's gonna have to use it immediately, never mind. So we'll survive in the but it is there waiting. Lasers are coming out, avoids the down tilt. You can see Revelo just wants to grab. There it is. Look for the fill with that spike for the, uh, the reset, but can't find it. The down tilt lingering forever. Okay, back air, push him further away. Super good short hop option and a really good attitude one as well. That's definitely it. It's easy like sin peasy. Nasby 2 here at Get On My Level X. Oh, I'm sorry, just heard some people in the crowd pop off of that. I'm popping off of this too. Hockey only needs one more. Three games. That's it. Just three little games. That's all you need to be able to win this tournament. And send easy, easy needs six. That's a lot of games. Yeah, taking six games, six games off this type of hockey we're seeing today is a hard task. But hey, man, Jimmy is used to these hard issues, and he finds a way to solve the problem. It's a hard problem. <laughs> a hard problem. Straight up, it's a hard problem, guys. I mean, the thing is, Three, at the very least, Ang, two, um, one. when Ang gets hit by the Brain Blast, which is, I believe, uh, up to, uh, which I believe the uh, up tilt up, up, air? up tilt up air, yeah. hover card slime cancel into the sub air. I like to call it the Brain Blast. Okay. That's trademark sent easy, by the way. Sent easy. Ooh, you gotta watch out for that one. He dies at unholy percent. Ang is stupid white. Yeah. We already saw these two play in Winners Finals before, and here they are in Grand Finals. Sent Pack finally getting his run back against him. Technodrome. I mean, Ang, I'm just gonna keep it blocked. He really doesn't have any bad stages. I'm sure. just gonna say wholehearted, wholeheartedly, he doesn't. This is also very much not a bad stage for him because there's a lot of nice open space with how good his drift is and very low horizontal blast zones with how good his punish game is. And how good and, dare I say, easy and oppressive his offstage presence is that he can just do stuff like that. But against the best recovery in the game, don't want to wind up pressing too many buttons. I don't know if he just hasn't been playing in a minute or if he was playing Rocket 2 in the back or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you definitely got to warm up. You don't want to be whipping your uh, you don't want to be whipping your edge guards against sent back like that. His offstage presence is second enough. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Push him over the jab, gets to toast as well. Look for the forward air conversion, no down air either. And now Hockey Slime's get involved. Big F strong. That's one of many we're gonna be seeing in the set, guys. Yeah, you already know. Keep him counted. Oh, okay. Go sit out. Oh my God. Nah, I wasn't expecting that at all, but that's another good setup that's set back as. It's slide down there just like keep the slime canceled to booze into it. And uh, first time we're seeing that in the set, set back starting out with a W. This would be uh, pretty huge. Keep going. How much percent did that do? Don't look at it. Don't worry about it. Started, it. What was that, 24? Don't worry about it. Oh my, okay. Either okay. way, we're going to keep... I'll look, I won't worry. <laughs> I won't worry. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm loving the jab count, so I just shows up the one. See what he does next. Avoid the, uh, the toast. The F2 is that's going to cover the landing, but that up strong in the air. Oh, man. No up B conversion either. Dude, I don't know if you should be committing that hard off the level against Senpak like that. You are Aang, I should say. If there's any character in this game that can do that, you are playing the one that can. But when you go high like that, it's just putting you at disadvantage, and then you're dying to sub airs way earlier than you need to, Hockey. So PC will take that all damn day. Avoids the edge guarding. Yup, Jimmy can go low. Here, Limbo King. 
Really good up as far as like walling opponents now, by the way. And lots of nice launching hitbox to be able to kill. And the crazy thing about it, of course, is that he can just gets a lot of crazy drift on it and can do the second hitbox on the way down, a la Incineroar. Uh-oh. That sent easy. You want to know what that was? That was sent easy holding down. <laughs> like a gamer. Down tilt, which is a typical version of the angle, but good DI from Hockey not to get uh, be susceptible to any of these hits, any of these combos either way. There's the slam charge again. Slam cancel, shall I say. Oh wow, gets past the toast, just walks out of the way. I don't care about no bread, but I do care about the F storm. All the time in the world to get that ball there, all the time in the world to get another one, all of a sudden it's only a 54% game. Time. Yeah. But they're gonna be chasing him, staying there in that bottom left corner. The ball shielded the bullets. From you learn something new every day. <laughs> you, you learn something new every day. I, I had no idea that that just sort of was a, like a block for him on the way down. Oh no my way. god. The DI on the part of Sen Pack at the very least coming in clutch form. Not over 100%. We're not seeing an F strong by the ledge yet. But it's about 20 more, and you know that hockey is going to start spamming that dish. Yup. Right where he wants it. Rodgers is there, but couldn't get the right dunk hitbox. Actually, uh, and kind of just ignoring it. <laughs> But he's gone low, but it doesn't really matter. Got back on stage right now. He needed that. He needed that sword play right there, that frame six option. Uh oh. Love the coverage. <laughs> There's no slime. He didn't pay attention to the fact that he didn't have slime and the slime dash not present. Sent back all of a sudden down a game after being up in stocks. And I can hear hockey from the back through my headset <laughs> popping off immediately after bringing that back. Fun fact, by the way, that reference, uh, Jimmy screaming in the back right there, that's when he went to the future and found out that he got married to Cindy and screamed for four straight minutes. I was, I thought I was, I could, I could have, uh, you recognize the, yeah. the kind of thing where, like, you know, it just, like, tickles your nostalgia in the back of your head, be like, what do I know that from? It's, it's that what? face that he makes there. So the, shout out to the animations and the devs of this game, man, really, like, doing such incredibly faithful work with all of these characters. Like what they did with Ember. Like, Ember's in, like, four episodes. And look what they did with them. Truly out of the Danny Phantom uh, characters besides Vlad, though, this is definitely the best character they've chosen, Jimmy. not just for cult fan base, Jimmy. but how unique her Three, set is, being the illegitimate two, love child of Vlad Palutena. But there ain't no Ember on screen right now. We got Ang and Jimmy. Ang and Jimmy. Yeah. Food Dreamer. Yeah, I was going to say Food Dream as well. Why do you like Food uh, I was going to say switching up on the platform uh, kind of layout, uh, as well as the color of the blossoms as well, going to see what they can do differently. Uh, and I feel like with the length of this stage, You've got more time to camp and kind of zone your way out, you know what I mean? You can yeah. see a lot of time in the other stages. Senpak is getting rushed the hell down. And we talked about it before, he hasn't got the out of shield game, Jimmy, to kind of thwart Ang away. Yeah, and, and uh, like this stage, as opposed to the opposite in Technodrome, I mean, his flat zone can be quite big, which is mm -hmm. good for both of these players, to be honest, but Technodrome, it's just the platforms are way further out the side, which creates a much more open air space sure. for Ang. You don't want to give that to Ang. He, like, thrives off of his drift and being able to move through the air and carry you with those sub airs. There's that rocket coming. Oh, my Ooh, God. Ooh, okay. I don't know how he... Like, I talk with Senpak, he's just such like a, like a sweet guy, normal guy, and then he just knows how to do stuff like that. Meanwhile, he's thinking of devious setups like that. Devious. All right. Talking about sub airs, you know, ranged options like the sword can assist in beating those out if you got the frames on deck. And you do. That's frame six, that move. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why you have to be really careful when uh, ledge trapping Jimmy, I should say. One of the, another the, one of the things I taught myself talking about Senpak as far as beating him is oh. not to do do that, first of all, grab the ledge against him, yep. not to get hit by up tilt, and above all else, don't mess around with him by the ledge, because they love to drop ledge, double jump up, go for that sword swing, because chances are your character doesn't have a move that's going to beat that out. And it's active for a very long time. Yeah. And, you know, can just hold down stage long enough to avoid that, it's better to just regain stage control, but again, with Aang, forward strong, doesn't matter, reaches below ledge. Yep. Just a, a bit of an overtune boost, if I had to say myself, but use it and abuse it if you want to win Gommel X, my friend, and Hockey definitely does with the way he's holding down neutral right now. Really forcing Sentak to pick and choose the a lot better, but finally, swings for the fences a little too much and eats a solid 84% for it at this point. Man. Post there as well, but avoids God in the setup, the lasers. Okay, you can see uh, oh, Senpak just wants the jab cancel, trying to shoot with the guarded laser. Uh, Trying to get the snipe out of the way. Damn. See that bait with the toast? How he just jumped with it and that fast fell mm -hmm. just to make sure it didn't come out so he thinks he's uh, You're not going to grab it here. Up so. Oh, yeah. You're out of there. It's consistency at its finest. It's Sen Peasy at its finest, honestly. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's, <laughs> it's Sen Peasy. Oh, oh, no! That 
wasn't. You that can't was, be giving freebies to hockey like that, that man. Was, that was simple. Not that not yet. Rocket avoids the grab either way. The up end. Now here we go. More consistent damage. Looking for the wave line grab, but just couldn't find it. Yeah, there's that setup. Needle cancel into the F strong. And players love to go for that. Sundra, who I played against on stream, yeah. before, loves to do that a lot. Like, it doesn't matter how you like to play Ang, every Ang player does that. Every Ang player. I was playing against Pixie before, he was doing it. Sundra before, he was doing it. Aki, of course, he's the, he might just be the inventor of it at this point, or at the very least the perfecter of it. But sent back. Same, similar situation as last time. Up in stocks this time. Oh, you're dead. Oh, the first. Has to burn the first. Good option for Senpak, though. He's got to rid, rid of it for now. There's the grab. Voids it with his own. Blah, oh, wants the ping pong action. Maybe it's a bit too retro. There's the up strong in the air. Oh man! Kind of was. There was no reason to like call on Goddard there for the combo. Really, he could have just, he could have just like actually just jumped in with the swords. That would have done way more damage. That would have launched into Goddard. Actually, I mean, perhaps Senpak knows something. He knows something I don't. He's in grand finals and I'm not. But like, <laughs> still, like that seems like a pretty easy follow up. But regardless, still he'll lose the stock for it. But 86% of insurance. Don't know how much that matters against Ang because he can do this and that uh -oh. and that and this and that. Oh, the track oh, down as well, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, wow! That was so fast! That was a very interesting angle. That was so quick. And the best, the, you want to know the craziest part about that angle is Hockey was prepared for that too. He was he died into the stage. He was trying to tech off the wall. Right. It wasn't enough. I've never seen that interaction ever. Oh, yeah. It wasn't enough because Ang is too light and so he flies really fast. One of the very few downsides of this character. Mm -hmm. Look at them, they're like huddled in. Look at the way, the, <laughs> the way that hockey's facing. Like, what's the game plan? What are, we, what are we doing right now? We're putting on a show. Putting on a show for them right here. Ducking. Just so you can see his mom real quick in the background cheering on for her son. Bless her. Bless her soul. I'm terrified. Okay. Okay. If my silence spoke any volumes to you right here. Yeah, you know, sent back on this stage, you know. I mean, he didn't pick it, it was Ang's pick. But, you know, he left it open because you would think a projectile character on a stage with no platforms long distance does very well, and he does. Yes, I thought, like, this stage would be perfect for him. You would think, right? Right. Ang is a menace on this stage because if he gets a lead, he can circle camp. Oh. oh. He's got that little sonic spin dash in the air that he can jump out of, no platforms to avoid it, but apparently not ready to tech either. He tried to take him down with him. That was his only option there. But now we got Senpak with the lead. He, he might want to wind up doing it even harder. <laughs> No lead's gonna matter right now. Surf Cam is not gonna save you. But they doesn't have a square if you wanna get involved in this battle at the moment. You see Senpak is getting grabbed right now though. Here we go. Stop up there right now. And another one. Oh my god! Yo! I'm dashing to get that too. He knows the spacing of the second hit of the Oppie as well to know he was gonna live. He might have damn well tried to ledge cancel that as well. Do I the do you wanna the talk about spacing? Yeah. I do want to talk about spacing. Oh, he got that. Spacing. He oh. got that. He got that. One. Can I get a third one? Thank you. With Jimmy, no choice but to DI away right there. Let's he hold in and eat another, either a strong forward air or a normal forward air off of that uh, confirmation oh, right there. Man, off dead. the ledge. Yep. Can't mess around with the ledge against him either. That's another scary thing. That's not a stage specific thing against Hang. He could do that literally anywhere, but you know, the matter of getting in that position in the first place is a lack of platforms. Hang doesn't need Ugh. presets to be able to do any of his combos. And you're be. seeing Ugh. right here. That was disgusting. He doesn't need platforms to be able to do it, so why do you take him here? Because you have projectiles? Every Gerald main I know tries to counterfeit here. Against Danny Phantoms, your Ang players of the world. It doesn't work. You're still going to get tier listed sometimes. Can't just rely on the Pariah's crutch. Don't kill him here. Oh! <laughs> oh, nah. I was supposed to shake hands after this set? No way. <laughs> That was disgusting. All I know is win or lose, I'm not shaking your hand after that. You can't embarrass me like that. No way. You All can't right. do that to me. Uh, We're done now. I, I. He's feeling himself so hard. I've never seen him do that. That was. I've seen him kill that with was the nasty. Rising, the rising hit. I have seen him kill off the side. Oh, right. You saw him. Kill right. Off the side that a million times. I. That was the first I've ever seen him do the suicide one. That was disgusting. And he got that clip in Grand Finals and get on my level against the one of, if not the best Jimmy player in the world. Okay, but Senpai trying to answer back. Okay, get a little something that started. Quick 7-1 on the board, nothing touching himself. Here Definitely. we go. 
Uh, it's definitely a better stage, I should say, like with the platforms being what they are. They can make angst approaches a little more clear. At the very least, really stop you from approaching Jimmy from above. So Jimmy's already amazing anti-airs so are gonna be even better on a stage like this. Yeah. And with this low horizontal ceiling, Jimmy will be able to kill you with that stuff air. A light character like Ang, very easily off of that. But it's all gonna be dependent on how he's gonna play neutral. So I very much appreciate and understand Senpak going to the stage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wow. Just like that? You can just answer back like that. Oh, his controller! No. Oh. How do we? How do, do we, we do reset this? the game, or do you want to go back to the stock count? He was having controller issues before the event. Oh, said, really? While we were talking in the Discord about it, wanted to let him know if uh, Levi Evil Labs was going to be here. He is not. Yes. He is not here. I um, thought Evil would be here. Had to clutch with that controller because that's not an 8-bit dude. You see, he's playing with yeah, yeah, an 8-bit yeah. dude from before. He's playing with a normal Switch Pro controller. Still made it to Grands, by the way, with a different controller. This guy the goat. But now he's just going to have to reset it or something because unfortunately we had that little drifting issue coming out about. While Hockey, I believe, still using the GameCube one. That's not what you want to see in Grand Finals of Get On My Level X, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. At least, at the very least, Senpak's laughing about it. He's a pretty jovial guy, I will say. And out here, unfortunately having these issues, but we should get them revolved in just a minute. Looking like they're talking with the TO about it. I think they're just going to run the game back. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was uh, not too deep into the game. I don't no. see why not, but obviously, of course, I think it is hockey's call, whichever way you want to spin it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking like they're talking about it right now. Resetting the game real quick to make sure we can get our controllers up to snuff where they need to be. In the middle of the game, though, man. Yeah, that is, uh, sucks. that sucks. I was like, Jimmy, I, I was so confused. I was like, Jimmy does not, Jimmy doesn't die there. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> yeah. doesn't die there. At 43%, like, oh, but it's too low. He's got the best recovery in the game. Jimmy doesn't die there. I knew something had, I, I, I'm surprised I didn't think something had to be up. What do I know? Unfortunate stuff on the part of Senpak, but it's looking like we're just going to get ourselves a quick reset again. I see the glow of the game in their eyes on their face right here, so I know we already got it up and running yet again as we get this worked out for you all right here. We hope you've been enjoying what you've been watching so far. We are potentially on the last Two, game, one. loading it up for you all right here of Grand Finals. Hockey up 2-1 over Senpak, and on the winner's side, I should say, running it back to Miracle City Volcano. I mentioned before why I like this pick. Not going to say it again. I'll let y'all figure it out as the time goes on for you right here, but aerial approach against Jimmy, not as good on this stage. Yep. Okay, see Hockey with a great start already. On the recovery, burning that gas. Oh man, just like before. And your controller's definitely working this time. He's still able to recover, but Hockey relentless with this pressure. He got hit, and he got stage bounced off of the teeny tiny wall that this stage provides. There's no underneath. It's not like it's not like rooftop where like it goes all the way down or another sort of stage like that. No, it's just this one little floating disc. Basically, and apparently you can tech off of that. I, had, I actually didn't know that. I thought you could go through it. You're learning a lot today. I'm tunis. learning a lot today from these two titans of players that we have going on for us right now, Fabs. I like that. Just a good option select. You yep. miss the bubble. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can jump out of it and I can uh, I can parry you for it. Yep. Okay, against the Toads. Sweet spot two. Oh man, trading with the God of Explosion is definitely going to be helping. So God of Spikes, let's say. But okay, now you got to burn the gas. It's cool. Up tilt, not exactly the best hitbox, but still makes it work. Gets the conversion, and Garden is up at that top left, watching you. That's a watchdog for real, this Eunice. Oh, no. Okay. I knew what he was looking for the whole time. I just didn't really want to say it, because I wanted to know if he was going to be able to get it from that angle. <laughs> Worth noting, Aang has some of the best grab range in this game, if I'm not mistaken, by the way, is that light up air barely not going to do it, Jimmy. Still has the burn on deck at the very least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, watch out for the toast. The up air too, not working. Up air out of shield, by the way. Big arc, like you mentioned earlier on, this is a big move. I told you, big move comes out real quick. Combo break, starts the combo, does my taxes. It's among the better moves in this game for sure. Speaking of better moves, that's two uh, S bears. Or not S bears, uh, S strong. Uh, forward strongs, I should say. Not going to matter there. Finally landing one. Hockey, magic percent. One stock above Senpak right now. Are we dead here? We are dead here after the hit from 69. Jeez. Dead even now, though. He's light. It's the only downside of Ang. He's a light boy. Right, that covers platform completely. Needs into another double forward air string. Forced to recover from up high. Double jumping out of the hover cart to try to get that spring six forward. Nothing doing on the part of uh, hockey. Oh. Wonderful drift away. 
What was that interaction? Tell me all about that. He wanted a slam tap from dash attack, look for the down tilt pop up so he can get up air. But great DI from Hockey. And actually, that's not even hitting the full part. Uh, that move not working exactly as best intended. So either way, Hockey was surviving. Uh, and, you know, Senpak, well, it's a little bit harder to get something started. Meanwhile, Hockey, feeling it himself, has a decent deep percent wise, but the stocks are even in Tunis. Hold on. Toast. Okay. I don't know about that, Fabs. I don't know about that. This counterpick looking like it's slowly but surely working out real well. Needle cancels, blocked by Goddard, I should say. Still able to get the S-Fair with the expended uh, hurt box or hit box, I should say, out of it. And double jumping away right there to not get hit by that fair. I don't know if it would have killed Jimmy, but it would definitely would have put him in a position where the sun don't shine. Can I get one more? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. And we got ourselves a game five in this grand finals best of five. Sent back one more to give ourselves one more set and reset the bracket for you all right here. It has beaten him before, but that set counts firmly in the favor of hockey. And with the way that game four went, I don't know. That might change today, Fabs. I mean, it was really close in the first set in, in winner's finals today. It was 2-0 up. Senpak brought it to 2-2. Two -two, and then hockey washed it. And we're going to see a, 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 the same again, where it's game five. And hockey decides, you know what? I got lucky even for more Avatar State for a reason. Avatar, what, what would win? Big brain or the Avatar oh, no. State? You left the stage open. <laughs> After what he did to you? Bad, 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 bad. This is gaslighting bad, 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 bad. in the form of stage striking. No, 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 no come here. When, when I tell you that every projectile character in this game thinks they can farm on this stage because it's big with no platforms, and then that happens to them, it's not a, it's not a set pack thing. So many, like the Gerald mains. I'm calling all of you out right now on stream. The Lucy players, all of you. It, you, it works against a lot of the cast. It doesn't work against Aang and Danny. I need, Stop. I need Senpat to shut us both up because at the moment it just, I just don't know why we go back here. I don't know. He I violated don't. you here, bro. I mean, I would imagine that you don't necessarily want to go to a smaller stage at the very least where Ang can necessarily overwhelm you with his superior button. Sure. So there's that. Maybe it's just the distance wise that has nothing to do with camping necessarily. Oh no, I might just literally want it because of how wide the stage is. Mm -hmm. That might be it. But the wide stage doesn't really account or matter for Ang's combo game and combined with the Blastle on this level. I don't know about that, Chief. This is definitely a scary pick. Needles on top of that. I forgot the fact that I always forget Ang even has those. Needles, bro. Okay. Hold on. I'll tilt. What's up, Eric? Can I get one more? I like that. Can I get another? How about one yep, more special? Me? Oh, my God. Oh, it doesn't even need it. <laughs> doesn't Mariah's. even need it. Like, Senpak's stocks are just, like, they're being eviscerated. You can't get away from needles when there are no platforms either. Yeah, I, I don't know why we're going here. This is a... Uh, Interesting stage. Okay, it's the up smash. All right, I like that. That's a rarity. The you up strong, sorry. That, move a lot. that has last. Yeah. All right. Water park. Senpak's doing everything he can, but it, it just doesn't seem to be enough. But hold on, though. Conversion, you have to a little bit of Q, but hockey. He had the conversion, but light up air. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say, honestly? Five times already. Probably more than that, to be honest. All right. There was a bit of slime there. He could have potentially slime canceled that into a double jump into another one, but that does in fact reduce the knockback of the next attack just a little bit. Perhaps he really wanted to confirm for that to kill, lest he give up some bad uh, stage positioning, I should say. So sent back playing a little more reserved, wanting to serve his meter. At the very least, burst is on deck as well, and now he has it on a fresh shock on top of that. Hockey, one more to win this tournament. Yeah, he's actually going for the light up air right there instead because he knows he's going to burst regardless yep. and probably didn't think he could react to it. So smart stuff the heart of Senpak. Love my game going. Game. Okay, here we go. Oh, We've seen this how many times now? Oh, no. Oh. And there it is. My popping off. Hockey is your get on my level X champion. His boy popping off behind him. Filming his set, filming his reaction, his mom popping off for him as well. That is Mama Hockey out here. Traveled with him all the way from Florida to just support him in this bracket. Talk I, about a supportive parent. I love supportive parents. Me I will too. always respect a supportive parent, you know. So shout outs to, to Hockey Mom, to Mama Hockey. And shout outs to Hockey himself, man. That guy is, you know, I knew he was good. I've seen them play a couple of times, but today, that was something different.